Okay, everyone's quiet. No one's saying anything. No, because, well, who's going to speak? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there we go. There I, we I, go. Get, I guess I, I'll I, break the ice I, then. I, I, Hello. I feel, I feel like such a large ham when I do it, you know? I just I feel like I can't always keep doing it, you know? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. Uh, we're joined by a motley crew of misfits, let me tell you. And one of those misfits is none other than the one, the only distortion, Debulu. Where can they find you? It's like you found me on... <laughs> Good. Right, hold on, hold on. Good. I sensed, I, I, sorry, sorry. I, I, I sensed your spiritual pressure there for a second. <laughs> Did you feel my reaction? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing it. Uh, it's mostly just the smell. From the sense, inside but... out. <laughs> I'm I, dude, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm tasting shit. it, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. <laughs> Good. Well, they can find that and more uh, over on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh, I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday. Uh, might be taking a little a little break from RAW because of uh, I, I said it on Twitter, but I'm not I'm not exactly satisfied with how the show is going. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna re-examine how I'm doing the show, and yeah. then I'll come back and hopefully the product will be better and more satisfying for everybody. Hey, and it'll... You know. You know, wrestling would be a lot more interesting if the winning wrestler was allowed to live. Ooh. <laughs> oh. It is. It is. It, it, it is a shame that all wrestlers. All, it is Money, a shame that all wrestlers must looks be at list of people match. who have died in the ring. Money, oh. that becomes Punishment Park, the movie. Sorry, what were you doing? <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Wonder, by the way. Uh. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of fun games with my friends. We've been playing some uh, Of Guards and Thieves lately, and uh, it's been a blast so far. But I think for this Friday, we're going to try some Fall Guys. What's that? Uh, Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's, yeah. It's like, it's like MXC, but a video game. I want to play it a lot, actually, because I want to start the stream up oh, with the yeah. MXC theme. I'm assuming you're doing that, right, Connor? <laughs> Pretty much. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what that you know what that is? Back, I just want to mention this because I was a big TF2 nutball. There was a TF2 like kind of like prop hunt style server that was that. That was basically what that game was. And that's huh. was, it the, was it the run maps? It was yeah, the run maps. They were run maps and they'd be random. You'd have different events that would happen, but most of the time you would lead up to a point where you had to get from one point to the other, and it would get harder and harder and harder. And yep, it was really and it would be it'd be like 30 or or even 40 people at a time, and it was it was amazing. It was so much fun. Sorry. That's when I saw that Hank game. Baba I really thought of that. So, I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just, I love that. I love that voice. And some guy will just be go, "I'm not here," or like, "My car was stolen." They just, they just make up stuff. They just say, they just say random shit. All right, who, who's, who's terrified of spiders? Raise your hand. Oh, everyone puts up their hands. That's the joke's on you. I'm actually spiders in a human costume. Run away from me! Ah! And everyone runs. It's like it's just, it's just always. I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I don't know. Pretty good. Alrighty, uh, but uh, you, you good to go? Nope. I still have Saturday and Sunday, uh, oh. in which I'm playing Yakuza 0. Uh, also, uh, I am playing <clears throat> some random games with the Harbingers, people over at uh, the Dead House Sonata server. Uh, we played some tabletop simulators, specifically Epic Spell Wars Battle for Mount Skull's Fire, and that was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I, I haven't played that game in a while, and it's Absolutely great. Uh, and you should also just check out Dead House Sonata. Join the Discord. Uh, check out the forums. Um, follow the link and purchase the game. I still want to do that D&D game thing we were talking about maybe in the future. I think we should we should discuss this in a not live yeah, setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, you're right. We, we, do, we need more hundreds of people to hear this conversation, guys. I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of speaking of hundreds of people, you know who's someone who's as fun as hundreds of people? Why that's none other than Chris Zito. Where can they find you? So much fun. Hello. <laughs> mm, God, I'm excited. I'm and then the right fun, now. and then the fun ended, like all good things do. <laughs> Listen, listen, li listen, listen. After this, we're gonna go and watch some best of the worst. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. dude. There's the oh, the fucking God. worst of the wheel came out, and I haven't seen it yet. I watched the worst it. The, I watched it. It's the, 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 they brought back the old wheel. I'm like, what happened to the what? nice new one? <laughs> oh, you know what? It's on yeah. brand for them to pull out the jank ass one, though. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> the longest Jack has to fucking spin it. God, I haven't seen that in forever. 
God. Okay. I've been I've been watching that like on the side lately, and it's been pretty fun. It's, it's very bingeable, and it's always entertaining. Oh yeah. Uh, so you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, uh, and the Ever Ingot Almanac on Patreon. Uh, so what's happening on all three of those things? The first one, the Twitch one, uh, we're playing Cart. We're going to play Fall Guys. Yeah. We're going to play a bunch of indie games. And also, I've I've been dying to at least play a lot of the Sage, like fucking uh, the Sage game jams for the longest time. So I'm considering doing a stream where I binge through 2018, 19, and then get to 20. So if you if if you're ready for Sankey games, oh boy, they're gonna be there. Are they good? Are they bad? Uh, yes. So uh, when you, when are you gonna get your OC racer? When I when I commission someone to do it because I don't have the fucking time to do it. Oh, I have I have someone in mind. Don't you worry. Mark my words. Excellent. Will live. Excellent. Uh, Twitter. Exactly what I just fucking said. Sankeys are happening. I I found my love of drawing just bullshit again. I haven't felt this much fun in just drawing comics or any sort of illustration for for like maybe five years. And also I got Clip Studio Paint. So now I've been training in fucking Fire Alpaca Free for like five years. Now we just came out of the hyperbolic time chamber and I'm ready to kill self. Uh, and last one, Evering at Almanac. Uh, the Hanu are happening. Got to wait for payouts, and then I can start hiring artists and get that book out for DMs Guild. So if you want to play Song Wukong, that'll be happening soon. Hmm. Hey, Bosco, where can they find you? On the internet. Bosco, I swear to God, plug yourself. <clears throat> Christ. Sure. It's not Bosco cute anymore. It's sad now, and not fun sad. <laughs> It's at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram and Twitter, and then on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. What do you got going um, on on your Twitch stream? Uh, I, games, video games. Fuck! Sorry. Whoa. What kind, of, what kind of video games there, Bosco? Oh, you know the kind that uh, you play with a controller. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to, instead of plugging myself, I'm going to use this time to uh, to talk about YouTube comments because I have oh, like. Oh. Stop reading them, dude. Oh, no. I want to I wanna send a shout out to three people. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, uh it was hfar alpha titania and david peel props to you for the very constructive and interesting thread on the most recent unexpectables youtube thing they know what i'm talking about but it was an interesting read there are I some, I, I will, should, I will should we that there are some people on the youtube like comments who actually have probably the most insightful like insight in the in the show and i have read their stuff and i've had people where like they're really deep story elements and i'm like no one will guess this and i read the youtube comments i'm like motherfucker they one of them got it all right well that's fine. <laughs> should, should we also address the uh ads yes well? yeah we oh, will. Yeah. oh yeah you probably uh, should do that yeah. uh so i guess i'll say this i mean um youtube updated recently and decided uh that it was gonna be fucky because that's what youtube Ooh. does um, so yes, there is an issue right now with ads being all at the beginning of the VODs on YouTube. I am going to attempt to adjust it. Um, and that, that is on me. Um, so for those of you guys who watch on YouTube, hopefully it'll be fixed. Notably, it is worse with mobile than it is on desktop. So mm. that, that is something I did notice because I've loaded up the episodes on desktop and didn't have this, the problem um so if you're having trouble it's more on youtube but do always let us know if you run into any problems generally a lot of times it's on the host side end of things um but i will check and i will see what i can do it's kind of uh it's very annoying not just for you but also for us because it means i'm gonna have to go in and manually figure it out and that takes time and uh so yes we are sorry about that thank you for letting us know about it we will try and fix it but a lot of it might be outside of our wheelhouse. I'm going to try. But YouTube likes to it, take away our power. It does. Yep. It really does. Yeah. yeah. But, so. Alrighty, though, guys. I think you know, Monty. While you're talking, uh, excuse me for my bonus action. No, <laughs> done. No, no. You for you 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 didn't. You weren't ready to make a turn order, so you're out. Shut the fuck up, Kurt. You're, you're anyway, I, by the slow spell, so you only get your mm, action. Or your bonus legendary action, action okay. interrupt counter spell. You, you actually well, have legendary app, action. You, I'm gonna do what the fuck I you, want. You actually so, have. Uh, you actually have the dot. Uh, you have the damage over time of ironic apathy. I'll take it. 
I'll absolutely take it. Uh, I know. I just want to send a th- uh, quick thank you to everybody who checked out the Transformers show. Oh, the first yeah. six episodes are up on Netflix. Mm. If you haven't heard, I'm Soundwave and Ultra Magnus in that, so you guys should check it out. No spoilers in the chat for those who haven't seen it. If you're curious, you should totally check it out. If you're not, you should still totally check it out and then tell me how awful I was. I appreciate all the feedback, good or bad. Trust me, I've gotten plenty of it. Question. So, yeah. If I yes. like Prime, will I like this show? I really like Transformers. No. Prime. Uh, this is a lot darker than Prime. Oh, shit. All right. Cool. Yeah. There you go. But yeah. I wouldn't say if you like one, you'll like the other. Guy Jing Goomba. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Well, where can they find you? All right. So my life. Ah, <laughs> All right. My life, Mark. So, uh, so first of all, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Taiko Tuesday is still going strong. I might try to do something a little different with it because it, I feel like it's getting a little bit stale. and needs, it needs a little bit of a fresher. Um, Tuesday, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, um, the DLC for Neo 2 just dropped. And despite that being short, they dropped a new difficulty, which means I get to play through the entire game again. Yay, because all the enemy placement is different. Uh, so I will probably be doing that or possibly after a year of ignoring it, get back into Yakuza zero because I played like an hour of it and then I just stopped. Mm. Um, yeah, right. Uh, oh, Connor, by the way, I will need a, uh, HD remix of, uh, Bobby Mitai ASAP for that. Thank you. Oh you just God. put it on my desk by Monday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, otherwise, um, I for this shit. I am uh, I am halfway done editing the longest video I've ever edited. It is going to be a half hour long. It is over Jin from Ghost of Tsushima and uh, <laughs> all of his ninja shit. And there's a lot of ninja shit to sort through. Um, aside from that, yeah, I still got Zuko Part 2 to work on. That's going to be fun. And then Neo 2 videos, more Tsushima videos. And then, Moni, uh, you'd be surprised at how many people want me to do a Witch Ninja on that freaking book. Yeah, I saw my Twitter <laughs> fucking exploded, and I was like, what the hell happened? I'm like, what did Gaijin do? And I just looked at it, I was like, oh, legitimately, though, it'd be kind of neat. Because that book I, uh, was, like, was definitely, like, the, the fact that so many people commented saying, like, oh, my God, I read that book as a kid, and it was so many people. I was like, oh, wow, like, that's that. It's really cool. So for for those of you who don't know, it's Mary Pope Osborne's Magic Tree House, uh, number five, Night of the Ninjas. It looks not real, but <laughs> from what Monty's telling me, there's a lot of real stuff in it. So very possible which ninja on that. Uh, Monty, really quick, I need to turn <laughs> I need to turn my recording down a little bit because I'm peaking a, a little. So if okay. you can just readjust me real quick. And there we go. Sure. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's uh that's me. Lots. Tons more Witch Ninja content coming out of me. Streams are not slowing down. It's going to be a good time. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata11. Where fine. we're we on the Sea of Thieves. We're sailing away in the brand new Ashen uh, update, which has been a lot of fun, where you actually fight Dark Souls bosses now in Sea of Thieves. Oh, did you get the flamethrower skull? Yeah, I did. And then I used it, but then it lost. It stopped being worth money. Apparently, yeah. every time you use it, they're like, all right, it's worth less. There's less um, fire inside the skull. But it's a (laughs) flamethrower! I know it's a flamethrower, and here's the thing. I would love to jump on an enemy ship and just start torching the bastards, but we have to be very, very careful. Uh, As well with that, I've been playing... (laughs) What's up? How much money do you have? Do you really need the money? I have uh, have $1.2 million in that game. Use the flamethrower. God damn it. (laughs) Nah, I gotta make that money, dude. Gotta make that paper. (laughs) I gotta gotta (laughs) make the bling bling. Uh, okay. Uh, right. As well, I'll I'll be, be playing quiet. some ASMR lo-fi vibes because I've been playing some City Skylines once again. And just talking in a low voice and being quiet because, honestly, it's one of the most relaxing things you can do. It's my zen, it's my little, my, it's my bond tree, you know what I mean? That means it's my time to scream while you're doing that. <laughs> that's, li- that's literally why I'm doing it right now. <laughs> it's just like, this works better. So, uh, and I will say this, on Thursday, we have the continuation of the Key Cup Tournament and our wrestling community show and there are four title matches there are eight tournament matches Fuck! that's what i'm gonna say i'm excited i'm excited connor's character's in action oh oh yeah loses constantly don't call it oh my god all righty all right all right all right all right so as well uh today i received the keys for my place so i will be moving in next week congratulations dude that's a big accomplishment yeah yeah thank you man i appreciate it and uh yeah
When do you so, officially break bread in the new house? When do I break bread? When I buy the bread, actually. Fair enough. <laughs> How do you break it? You don't Chop buy bread. You gotta get Dude, the you just you grab each end and you man. rip that sucker in half like it's a heart or something. Yeah, but that's like tearing. That's like tearing it or, or ripping it. It's not breaking. Listen, the only it. It way. The only way to break bread is to do it like like uh, Captain America did with that piece of wood and that tight shirt. That's the only way to break bread. Well, I look I forward see. to coming up I and see. visiting you sometime in 2022. It'll be great. Yeah, see? no, 2022. Ha <laughs> ha. That's yeah. You know, yeah, maybe a lot of twos. <laughs> I was gonna make a matzo joke, but okay. <laughs> Mozzarella? No, like the the bread. The bread. The, the, mozzarella? Oh. No, lot, no, no lot of, lots of bread, dude. Thank you, guys. Uh, real quick, there are a lot of people we got to thank, by the way, guys. Can, can I jump into it? I want to thank Timator, Mega Zero, 6495, S Wolf 95, Sonos J, J, thank you so much for the subs. Renfield 88 for gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Renfield 88. That's very nice of you. Topher Spark. Samx12, Nova Blaze 015, Avariana, Viral Tech 1. Thanks so much for the subs. Arc Requiem of D gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to Arc Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 subs gifted to the community. I had to correct myself there. Arc Requiem D gifting 15 subs to the community. God damn it. Thank you so much, Arkway MD. And Jaraz7146, thank you, Arkfay. Thank you as well for the subs. Not Obsidian, X Chub Toad, X Kaze3173, Merrick Cat, R Fox Blood, Andrew the Sand Troop. Thank you, Good. the real Getsu Hero, Dragon V Cat, Sleepy Boy P, Send Sinful, D4C Trice. Thank you so much for the. Subs, guys. Blue Soul 279. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. I would like to say thank you for the hours of entertainment you have provided, everyone. Well, thank you so much, Blue Soul, for the bits. Anthony12203. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. I, I decided to get Twitch just to watch live and ask two questions. Uh, ooh, well, we don't have time to answer those questions, but thank you so much for the 500 <coughs> bits nonetheless. Because those are those are roundtable questions. But thank you, Anthony. Nonetheless. Yeah, we have uh, Q&A sometimes, so just yeah. keep your eyes peeled for that. True. Yeah. Pie yeah. rounded. Uh, Tebow Chuck with a thousand bits wanted to share some love and my favorite D and D stream with my David favorite D and D stream for my birthday today. But since I'm studying overseas, I'm celebrating it from the future. Okay, what stocks do I invest in, Tebow Chuck? You got to give the me the winning lottery numbers. I'm, yeah, honestly, there's, this is a good time to invest. Legit. Mm. Oh, you weren't being serious. Well, I find love. Ooh, that's, no, no, Nadine, 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 Nadine. I know you, and the answer is no. Yeah, uh, you've, uh, you've, uh, you've already, you've already uh, found love, and it just doubled in size. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> it did. That's true. Gerps is fat. I'm happy. Oh, oh, is your, is your, is your, is your, is your, is your frog already fat as fuck? Dude, it's it, my frog has doubled. He took in his T virus jacket off. No, <laughs> yeah. no, that's not good. <laughs> it's black, black with hair with elite bits. Transformers has rarely been this cool. Ooh. Blackfoot Farrow with a massive compliment with the leap bits for Edward Bosco. Apparently, people are saying it's really cool. Uh, Sniper Wolf 075, think of the 500 bits. First time catching this live after listening to all the videos about three times over. Hope you all have good rolls today and hope the council don't screw you guys over. Sniper Wolf 075, <laughs> 500 bits. God damn, thank you so much. And thank you so much for sticking through the series. It's a, it, it's, it's, it's long. It's longer. It's, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's long. S Wolf 95 with a foul. With a thousand bits. Hey, Bosco, would Remy enjoy eating a big chicken? <laughs> Why what? get listen, you guys know where that's from. Don't bring in that into this <laughs> chat. Do not in bring that into this house. No. Will oh, not Ash. answer. Oh, Ashley. Uh Why Infinite, would you Infinite Kitty, Kelly AFU, the one blind kid, Lord Atari. Thank you so much for the subs. Black Dragon Cleric with the 1500 bits. Who need a scene tonight where Task and Winter are going to have a cute romantic moment and Borky comes in loudly singing, Can you feel? The oh, drop my guitar. Stay right there. Don't do anything. Where do I plunge the knife? In his kneecap or in his fucking stomach? <laughs> uh, stomach and guitar? twist. It won't heal. <laughs> Black Dragon Cleric, even the 15. I just imagine someone walks in. It's like, make room for Oren. And just keeps walking. He walks in. It's like, make room for Vetrion. And just keeps walking. I'm not. <laughs> fuck Oren. That, he's, he's, oh, he's not that much of a prude. Fuck Oren. His death perception's weird. Yeah, that fuck Oren. <laughs> he's hey, such hey, a shallow hey, character. He has now. no depth perception at all. <laughs> Lord Natario, Zeon the Drifter, an acceptable name. Ice, Flame, Dagger, Shove, Acorn, 420. Takanub. 
Three Shafikado, Killer the B, Killer B the 18, Shock Dragon 325, Old Scar 3, thank you so much for the subs. Dragon Big Cat, Argent Lyell, the really good hero, thank you for the bits. A disco Tech, three five bits. Uh, no haiku today. Hump Day is named for panic. Oh, wait, motherfucker. And we got rated by none other than the Lanny Pator and SpongeBob is anime. Thank you for the four month resub. And that is everybody right now. Really? Wow. Wow, we're early. So we're I early. know. Hey, hey, hey. We spent so much time talking about Ghibli movies. I thought we were going to be late. Yeah. Can we talk about we can start are, you, are you ready, though? Can you talk about Lanny? We can talk about Lanny. What's your, everybody, what's well, your what's favorite all, thing well, about Lanny? My favorite thing about Lanny is definitely every time I say his name, I wince a little bit. Like, Lanny. Like, eh. I like that. <laughs> I like that about him. Like the eh that comes with his voice. You, you know you know what I like about Lanny? What's that? When when he needed advice uh, and, and a cultural expert on the Japan, he came to me. That's because no one else does. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Defective all right fine bosco <laughs> defective sheep with five subs gifted to the community there's nothing defective about you sheepy we like you so much defective sheep last no there's a lot wrong with if you watch friday night flashbang there's a lot wrong with sheepy last I, uh, my, with my favorite thing about lanny is the stuff he makes like he cooks and every time he posts pictures i hate him because it looks really really good it, oh my god i've also I, eaten this, i've eaten his food his food's really good i, I my I mother said like, if you have nothing nice to say don't say it at all so i have so nothing to say. when i went down for last thanksgiving i had the pleasure of going down to lanny's place and had thanksgiving down in the states nick made one of the most delicious thanksgiving dinners i've ever had seriously my favorite Thank thing you. about lanny is that he's very creative and that he hasn't killed my character's son yet that is nice of him. Why do like all of your kids that's get in danger? What is that's wrong my with you? Absolute favorite thing about why him. are you a terrible parent I, in every I, game? It's, it's the linchpin of why I like him at all. I, I want you to know every time you're not on screen as Wolfgang, essentially Baby's Day Out is happening with Elliot. Okay? <laughs> every <laughs> single time you're gone, Baby's Day Out, no one's looking down to see the baby. Everyone's just. Alrighty. Well, uh, right. one second here. I got a couple people I got to thank. Read off bits Lasker, and then we'll get started. Lasker Fuffle with a thousand bits. Detraction. Well, thank you so much, Lasker Fuffle with a thousand bits. The Armored Owl, Knackley Polly getting a sub to Nalani Pator. Thank you so much. Uh, and Dragon Man 999 with 800 bits. Fuck the council. Revolution, take over the city. Rah, 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 rah. 800 bits. Dragon Man 999. Wait a minute. Dragon. Wait a minute. Take his mask off. Darkest. Darkest. Hey, you silly goose. And, and we'll end big <laughs> with me. Guardian Gamer 64. Then your next line is thank you for the 10,000 bits, Guardian Gamer 64. Damn. That's good. How did you know? You guard those games. Guardian. He, he does. He guards them. You know what else he guards? Kindness, because he's so kind, you see, with his 10,000 bits. Thank you so much. Food. The Forever Dungeon Master with 1,000 bits. Congrats on the on the house, Taka. Thank you very, very much, uh, the Forever Dungeon Master. And do the man with the 500 bits just to annoy Taka. Oh, son of a bitch. Mono Kite, thank you for the sub. Do the man, thank you for the 500 bits. Forever Dungeon Master, thank you for the 1,000 bits. And Guardian Gamer 64, thank you so much. All right. I'm going to read. Oh, oh, Jesus, gotcha. don't power. Do, 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 you need another, do you need another minute, Nadine? No, no I, I, just, here, I'll, I'll help you out. So I, when I, last I we left our heroes. Shut up. I wanted to use the bathroom before we start, but I'll be fine. All right. That's fine. I can do this. Go use the bathroom. No, shut up. You don't even have my written me. thing. No, I'm fine. We're going to start now. <laughs> well, why would you okay. say it? No, I am not You don't get a break for another two hours. You might want to go now. Shut up. We're going to play D&D. When last we left our heroes, Tass the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Remy the Kenku Fighter, the party has returned to Alavast. After defeating Darkus and the Draconic Cult of Instrock with the survivors in tow, after arriving back, a second crystal around the attic revealed itself and now hangs above the bustling city. After a night of well-deserved rest, the party awakens, returning to the magical home they know so well. So, before we even start, I have one thing I need to know. Who has Liza's mask? Me. You do. Okay, so Task has it. All right. So, you guys awaken. The moment you returned back to Alavast, uh, all the survivors were sorted through and those who had tickets were accepted into the city and those without were taken to a place to stay, to be healed and treated and fed. Um, you guys made your way in along with uh, the strange yak person um, who the guards tried to stop, but 
you guys managed to persuade them to let you bring them in. Um, and you set up Yugu in, uh, sorry, the Yak person, uh, who they, you, I would say at this point, you guys would know that they would determine their name as Yugu. That is their name, Yugu. Okay. Uh, you guys set them up with like, uh, like a blanket on the floor, uh, and you guys went to bed. Uh, he gets to sleep on the owl bear. Yeah, he he he, <laughs> he sleeps on the owl bear. Um, as you guys made your way back to the uh the sweet dragon. Um, it is under repairs, considering that there was a giant dragon that busted a hole through the front door. Um, mm -hmm. so it is currently got like leather tarps, uh, where the front entrance should be that are kind of pulled back, but are closed up. Um, but beyond that, you guys just make your way to your new rooms, uh, hey, and lie down for the night. Yes. Question. I wanted to make sure that Amrog got back to his husband. Did that happen? Is that? Yes. He was processed. Okay. Good. So you don't know if they had their moment, but he made his way home. Okay, um, good. So yeah, as whatever long as he happened got home there, safely, then that'll whatever happen. happened there is up to Alfred. Uh, it's to none of my him. business. Once he gets in the house, that's between him and yeah. his husband. That's Alfred. Um, yeah, Paper Fox <laughs> oh, ha House, who is one of our guests. Um, Love you, Alfred. You Yay. guys head to sleep for the night, uh, and you guys are just like out. Like you guys sleep a lot uh, after the trek home. And as the dawn arrives, you guys awaken to the familiar sounds of the city. It's time to get okay. It's time to get porky. Ah! Your back kind of cracks. Ah! Ah! Shit. This is what happens. Falls on the floor, convulses. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I, I can't me. believe back spasms knocked out Borky. Oh, oh, God. Borky's on the ground. I want him to reach me. Griffles, help me. Ruffles. He's ready for anything. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. Oh. As oh, you reach God. over to Gripples, Gripples just kind of falls over onto its side like thug. Damn it, Gripples. Tubbs. <laughs> Tubbs, help me, Tubbs. <laughs> damn it, Tubbs. A pillar of fucking emotional support. I knew, Porky, how Tubbs you die is in the, the mattress. I knew, I, knew, with you. I knew the weight Get of all these scribes would do this to me. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> Forky tries putting his pants on without being able to move his left side. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I love it. Um, Greckles would actually already be out back in prayer with Sword Aloft. Okay, uh, yeah, you go out there. As you head out to the back, the once cart yard that was kind of devoid of any life has now bloomed into a vibrant garden. Um, there are many exotic trees, and as you walk, there's just a deer, and you're like, what? And it oh, walks oh. past you. Um... um and Anj has made very good work of the space. Uh, it is now extremely vibrant, extremely well kept, uh, and your lizard hounds live amongst this sort of forested hey! park area. Hey. Do, do they? Okay. Do any of them have anything peculiar sticking out of their mouths, such as legs of animals or such? No, they seem to be just kind of like scrounging around. They're fine. Okay. They're fed. Um, Anj <laughs> takes care of them for you while you guys are home, so you don't have to be concerned with their feeding or keeping at all. Uh, once okay. my pupils go back to normal size, uh, Greckles will just give him a big wave to see how he responds. To Anj? Yeah. You don't see Anj. He's not oh, around. But okay, my bad. You know, you know he's somewhere, but you just yeah. don't know where. He's, he's camouflaged he's... on a tree, like, five <laughs> inches above you. He's, like, perched on top of, a, like, a crooked old tree, like a vulture <laughs> staring down. <laughs> But, yeah. Okay. Nota Sorry. Notably, as you are there, uh, Meryl does come through, but she seems extremely cautious uh, going through the space because it's so bizarre to her. Mm -hmm. um, but she is she's fine herself. She has been just working. It hasn't been much time since you guys have been here. Probably less than a week, honestly, if not just a couple weeks. Oh, with all um, that going on, yeah. Yeah, you guys kind of <laughs> went, and some for some it lasted longer than others, um, given the circumstances, but. There has been some developments, but not that many in terms of the uh, the the sweet dragon. Um, the renovations have been going pretty well up until there was a huge hole in your guys' front entrance. Right. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of put a halt to that. Um, notably as well, uh, your inn, your actual like rooms were actually slated out for refugees, so people who lost their homes. You guys. Hey. Um, hey. Helga and Ostalos made the executive decision to essentially open up those spaces for people who didn't have a house. So that's just something that happened that you guys were aware of. Gotcha. Hey, um, oh. Is Vel here? Yeah, you find Vel. You heard that she was taken, and yet she's here. Um, turns out 
she when the fighting began actually you can talk to her i'll let you talk to her when you want to but you can mm. she's fine she's compl she's a bit banged up but she's relatively unscathed hey monty hi when remy makes his way to the sweet dragon because i assume with it under res renovations it's easier for him to sleep at home he's gonna go find panic immediately okay wherever he is in the sweet dragon yeah you guys i'm assuming wake up and make your way downstairs <laughs> Uh, good You'll see Remy sitting at a table waiting for you to come down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, Ty, Ty Borpington uh, brings out um, essentially a like a big slice of maple ham, but the center like circle point was taken out, and a uh, a um, what do you call it uh, when you drop an egg into boiling water? What is it called? Poaching. Edward. Poaching. A poached yeah. egg is like in the center with like uh, kind of chives and then like this sort of nice cheese sauce on top and the whole thing is very beautiful and uh. a bit more elaborate. Uh, those are set out for you guys when you come downstairs to eat. Yours does not have cheese though, Greckles. Yours just oh. has chives. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank the gods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I I know. And Ty Burbington gives you a salute. Greckles, a salute bag. Just... Oh, I can't believe it's real food. We haven't had real food in so long. Uh, right? Trail rations. Tell me about it. Uh, panic. Mr. Corbo? Uh, Remy is fine. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Um, I know. You mentioned a friend of yours. <laughs> you are unable to contact them. Have you had any luck since? I haven't tried. Not today. Um... Uh, I'll go ahead and pull out the Orb of Sending and, and try Helena once again. Okay. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I say... We are back in town. Couldn't get a hold of you earlier. <clears throat> Was worried... But we're all safe. Rescued people. Are you doing anything today? That's 24. Okay. Uh, one second. You get a response back. Oh, thank God. Sorry for making you worry. I'm fine. We can talk. We just can't be suspicious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Panic's, uh, Panic's like holding, <laughs> holding the orb of, send, uh, orb of sending, uh, sipping his coffee, and notably his, his eyebrow raises really slowly and really <laughs> big. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. He just fucking gives the DreamWorks eyebrow. <laughs> Not to fuck. It's okay. When Panic finds out what's going on, he'll give the DreamWorks smirk. He <laughs> looks at looks at <laughs> looks at Remy. It's just like, um, so Helena seems to be all right. I it's strange though. <gasps> Everything's gone silent. Uh, sorry, I'm just. Switching over to yeah, right. appropriate background music. S strange, though. Her message was brief. Uh, Connor, do you have a your fan running in the background? I do. Hang on. Yeah, can you turn it off? There we go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Don't Sorry. die. I'll try. Um. So yeah, strange. But she's all right. She seemed like it. Although it's hard well, to tell. 25 words and all. Well, if you don't have any objections, if you wouldn't mind me accompanying you to check in on her, I want to make sure all of your employees are accounted for and safe. <laughs> well, um, Helena's not really... Um, she's not really an employee. She's more just a friend. She works with the city guard more than anything. But... Um, Oh, yeah. she's a you friend, can... is she? Yeah, yeah, she's uh, <clears throat> she's a friend. Good. Remy's friend. gonna give you the dad look. <laughs> oh no! Looking hard into the camera. 
Panic looks left to right. I mean, if you would rather go alone, I totally understand. Well, you're more, more than welcome to come by. You're more than welcome to uh I to, wouldn't uh, want to accompany intrude, me. of course. You, you, you understand. I, If it's a private matter and all. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't want to be suspicious, so... Uh, Don't be suspicious. <laughs> you're, you're, you're free to come along if you so choose. Uh, if you insist. Uh, by the way, have any of you checked your mail? Hmm. I mean, we were all pretty wiped out after everything, uh, so... That that was the one thing I was going to ask before everyone came downstairs. I didn't get a chance to. Oh. Yeah, like, well, now's the perfect segue, if you'd like. Yeah. Yep, yeah, segue. Tash just comes down with all the mail. <laughs> There's one letter. That is Tash it. just, like, like, puts it on the table. Just one. It is unmarked uh, and has no specific, like, no specific address or person it is addressed to. It is a blank envelope that you guys had found. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, I'm, fuck it. I'm opening it. I got nothing to lose at this point. Okay. Uh, you open it up. Uh, it is on kind of black vellum <laughs> paper uh, and white ink. It is, Jeez. it says, hey, essentially it reads out, it says, hey. If you want some work, I have a job for you. Whenever you're ready, I know I can trust you. A favor for a favor, right? Question mark. Hope to hear from you soon, Panic. Uh, and it's signed from Everyman. Oh! oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Mm. I, I slowly just hand the paper back over to Panic, just like, there for you. <laughs> it just, really? Just a, piece of, just a letter that says white, you up. White ink on black vellum, that's a little garish, isn't it? <sighs> I just look to the others. <laughs> I mean, is this a you thing or? It I have no idea. Be, it seems to be in general for all of you. The fact that it's not specifically labeled for panic. It does mention panic, but that's because, as you guys know, every man likes panic out of all of you the most. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Eh, I mean. Well. A job's a job at this point. At least we have... There, there's some sort of, like, familiarity with this client, so I don't see why not, but after a few days of rest, it would be wise. Yeah, I agree <sighs> with that. All right, well... We'll go check her out, then. Uh, as you guys are kind of sitting there, uh, <laughs> you watch as a, a skinny actually walks and goes, Well, ain't this a sight for sore eyes? You have no idea, skinny. Oh, come here. And she just gives you a big hug, Greckles. Oh, He looks back. You look a little scrapped up, but I think you'll heal up real nice. Uh, I got some news for you. Okay. She kind of, like, sucks in her bottom lip and, like, kind of, like, wiggles back and forth. Like that excited guy in the chair kind of gif. Oh, uh, wait a goes, minute. Can you guess? Are you... Pregnant? Yeah, we sure are. Oh, congratulations. Oh congratulations. Yeah. That's wonderful news. We're going to have a little kitten running around here. Well, not in here because it'd be dangerous. But yeah, me and Fluffy are going to have a baby. I'm excited. Have you thought about names at all? Oh, gosh, no. We're going to wait for a little bit. That's fair. Uh, what that probably means, though, is that we're going to try and find our own place to live in, in Alabas. So my room will be up if you want to fill it up with somebody. Do you uh, well, need any help with contracting or anything? Oh, no. We're just, we're going to need, like, little baby supplies and stuff. Iggy offered to make us a, a baby crib, but we rejected. <laughs> you watch us see, like, a visible oh. sweat drop runs down the side of her face. <laughs> I think we all just open our drinks with that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like a, there's, like, a swinging <laughs> pendulum over a crib. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was probably wise, considering what I've seen him make. He means well, but we want... You know, things to be actually safe for the baby. But yeah, I figured we'd let you know. We found out only a couple days ago, so it's really exciting. Well, congratulations to the both of you. I suppose uh, I suppose this means you'll be uh, leaving us soon, temporarily at least. Oh gosh, no. I might need some maternal leave for a bit, but I don't expect you guys to be too bad without me. You can always hire someone temporarily if you don't think, um, she kind of looks over to Kiwi and Kiwi is just like, here's your sandwiches, like handing off like trays and drinks. And she kind of <laughs> looks over towards, uh, 
to where Scarble should be, but there's a there's a perfect Scarble shaped airspace where Scarble should be, and she's like, hmm. Well, if you guys can't manage, maybe a temporary hire would be a good idea. But I have some time yet, and she kind of pet pats kind of proud of him. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, uh, has your husband had any time to work on that thing I sent him? He did. He said he might need something specifically to fix her up, so you might have to talk to him when you got the chance. Talk to him. Mm. Oh yes, he's uh, such a it's... he's such a chatty caddy. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, is he around, perhaps? Oh, he was out getting some iron, so he'll probably be back this afternoon. All right. Well, I'll I'll see if I can catch him then. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Tass does notice that uh. When when Kiwi was around and then like Scarbles is not there doing her duties, Tass like kind of just like gets a little visibly worried. And looks over to Skinny. Mm -hmm. Everyone everyone is accounted for. Yes, like we oh, have yeah. been gone for a while. Oh yeah, everybody's accounted for. Um, I'll look through and see if anyone's actually not accounted for real fast. I mean, the only one who's not accounted for is you know Mr. Lewis Strog and well, <sighs> what a good man defending us to the end like that. Absolute hero. Indeed. We hope he's happier in the next life than he was in this one. Same here. No, everyone's pretty good. The one who's probably the most banged up is Vel, but she'll be fine. She's fitter than a horse right now, and she's got a broken arm. Uh, and then, I guess I suppose, she kind of leans forward, uh, the more gruffy fellow, the dragon boy, he's been kind of quiet lately and not in the furrow brow yeah, and she kind of like puffs up her chest and puts her hands on her waist, you know, like, I'm a big dragon man sort of thing. He seemed rather quiet and troubled, but he's young. Arlo? Sort of... Arlo yeah. or Naragan? Uh, no, Arlo. Naragan's been forlorn. I mean, he took... You have to understand that Naragan spent the most time with Louis Strog, so it kind of hit him the most. But mm. no, Arlo, he seems to be a bit rough and bothered about things, so... I think I have a side mission after this. I mean, a lot's happened. I, I miss Milo, her shop. I don't know if you saw, but she's actually starting to get a storefront going. Um, mm. And yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that's going. It's good just to look around. How's big guy doing across the street? Oh, he, I saw him this morning and he was happier than lemonade on a cool day right now, or a warm day. I got the euphemism. I got it wrong. <laughs> My head. Uh, no, he seems pickled as a plum. He's very happy. Ben was a nice fellow sort. We used to talk quite often. I mean, he's working most of the time, but he's probably going to rest for a few days before I open up the shop again. But big guy was running it while he was gone, which was rather impressive. Oh, mm -hmm. speaking of speaking of missing people, I'm going to look for my son. Okay, yeah. Uh, as you get up and you go to find Tar uh, Tarusk, uh, he's actually sick. He's not like deathly sick, but he's got like a cold or something, like a like a like a stress cold or something. Aww. Pulls out a gun. What have they done to my boy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got a serious case of the time travels. He's got <laughs> well. Um, so Tira is there, and she's kind of taking care of him, and she kind of goes, "Oh, you're back." I'm glad to see you're in spirits. Tarisk, on the other hand, doesn't look so well. Yes, uh, he has not been feeling well. He's, um, he woke up from a nightmare and has been sick ever since. But this is common for young dragons. Um, usually within their first few years, they get sick once or twice or even more than that. And it's just the body naturally um, adapting. Is there nothing that can ease his discomfort? I have got medicine that is specifically for dragons. It's very tricky to find, but um, I've managed to find it. Mostly, he just needs water, rest, and, and hearty foods. So, and you watch, he just look over, and he's, he's under, like, a woolen blanket. His head is resting on a pillow, and he just kind of, like, is, like, oh. there's, like, a snot bubble. Like, he just, like... Oh. Yeah, he, he looks like he is, like... The scales are kind of dimly colored. It just looks like, um, like, a, you know, like, when you, 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 when you have a kid, and they get sick, and they just need to rest. He's basically like, going through dragon chicken pox right now. More or less, yeah. That's probably the best way to put it. All right, cool. Well... Thank you for watching over him this whole time. I'm sure it wasn't easy with all the confusion about uh, confusion about. <laughs> Certainly, there were some who didn't want to see him after everything that happened. Understandably so, but most people knew him already, so that was good. Do you have lists of names? Task holds out his bow. Z <laughs> do not understand that dragons, while noble and glorious, 
They can also be icons of destruction and put fear in men's hearts. This is not their fault. It is just Ta simply a way they react. Tash shrugs. Sorry, that was my half-hearty attempt at humor. I'm new to this being a normal person with no grudge against a cult of dragons thing anymore. <sighs> that is true. You must understand that both dragons and human alike can carry fear within their hearts towards creatures that have been known to hurt them. It makes sense. It's not right, but it makes sense. It took me 10 years to figure that out. Well, thank you for your time. Of course. By the way, there is something I did want to ask, but I didn't I didn't wish to intrude if you were still in use of it. Uh, how is your how is your common coming by the way without the need of the helmet? It's gotten better. Um I can have a small conversation, but beyond that, it's not that good. But if you want the helmet back, I understand. Task you know, holds his hand. Task holds his hand up and like just shakes his head. No, if it's a better boon for you, then best it be with you then. Okay. Once I think I am ready, I'll give it to you. Okay. Thank you. I would like that. Certainly. And she kind of bows her head down. Yep. I return back to the table with everyone else and okay. shit. Tass just like looks down for like at the table, just like Oh wow, I'm actually free of all burden. That's weird. I don't know what to do from here. Go to her, you bastard. Tess grabs Remy by the fucking scuff of his collar and pulls him in. I Go say hello. Where is she? She's, I assume that she's being tended to because she was messed yeah. up. Yeah, you don't know where though, right now. I'll figure out where they took her, but you should go see her. Yep, that was my fucking deal. Well, with Taurus being sick, and that was literally the only thing Tass wanted to do is go find Winter and just be like, hey, do you want to be a normal like person and have a vacation after all the crap we've been through? God, vacationing. Like, do you, you want to experience the city for the first time without having the constant threat of a cult finding you? I want another beach episode, not gonna lie. <laughs> <clears throat> well, um, I assume the rest of you have things to do today. Borky, Greckles? Uh, I do have a few things to do, yeah. Borky's not there. <laughs> okay. Is he still up there struggling with pants? Oh, I, I, I assumed because I didn't leave. Do we hear right? a thudding? <laughs> no, literally, you cut back to him. Borky's got like a stick. Ah, try to hit the doorknob. Ah. Where Where is Borky? Is I, I guess one of us should go him? check up on You start him. hearing Borky just. Uh, oh, oh, all right, I'll, I'll go do it. Right. Panic, we should probably go. Task, if you could do me a favor, if you do find where she is, let me know. Will do. Well, that's gonna be my day, at least. I, I, I guess. Ugh. I guess Greckles is gonna go to Borky's room. <laughs> I mean, I'll go with you until then. Once Borky's back is not crunched up, I'm leaving for. Five no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on up, come on up. Come we're on we're, up, we're up. going up. We're going to come on up, coming up. I got, I got. Borky, Borky, you okay? Ah! Oh my God, my friend, you're here. Thank you. Okay, okay. I need you to hear me out. I need you to hear me out. Okay, I need you to flip me on my back. And I, and I know this is going to be hard for you guys to do, okay? I need you to punch me in the back as hard as you can, as often as you can. Where is like the nearest chair? This, where, wait, wait. Where is the nearest chair? <laughs> it's this downstairs. Is, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. God. This, is when Gre this is when Greckles opens the door. <laughs> you see, like, Borky, like, twisted. You see Borky, like, twisted around on the floor. Okay, you want me, you want us to do what? Hit me as hard as you can on the back, and I know it hurts to harm your friend. Okay, and okay. I'm your friend. Run okay. downstairs and grab <laughs> no the tool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, Borky. Borky, just, just uh, let me try something. Uh, he, he just tries to gingerly roll you onto your stomach. Uh, as, as, you, as you do so, as as you do as you do so. Uh, oh, 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 it's worse. Oh, okay, okay, worse. just 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 hang on, just hang on, Borky. I got an idea. Uh, oh. Monty, I'm going to attempt to, since I'm a bit dexterous, but still slightly weighty, I want to attempt to walk on his back. All right. Uh, you do so. You walk on his back. Roll a medicine check. 
<laughs> Not trained, so there you go. Ha! <laughs> Three. All right, you just. Ah! 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 ah. I come back with the stool. Five check. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get, let him roll a medicine roll, check. Roll a medicine check with disadvantage. I can't yeah. believe I can't. Ah! Oh, it's getting worse. Uh, roll, need... roll 1d4 for me, uh, Taz, plus your strength bonus. Two. Plus your strength bonus? Two. Uh, so it's gonna be just two. Alright, you take two points of damage, Borky. Ah, oh, As Task smashes you over the back with the, with the, with the chair, it just, you just bring it down, it shatters into pieces, and you just kind of throw, like, the leg of the stool aside, it doesn't work, and Borky's still face down on the ah, ground. It feels a little bit better. Should we Meanwhile, go I just imagine stools? Panic and Remy are just sitting there slowly eating as, like, the sound of a chair smashing over someone's back <laughs> echoes out. <laughs> yeah, they're just, like, screaming and yelling. You watch as Meryl just kind of walks by you guys and goes, is that... Mm. She just keeps walking past you, just, like, going to stop to say something. Just Remy's just going to nod and continue right. eating. <laughs> hang you know, on, hang on. Not on the road. This is normal. Hang on, hang on. Borky, let me try one more thing. Uh, Moni, okay. yeah. I'm going to try, try to completely bullshit Shiatsu Massage. She's heard of it, but he has no idea how it works. So okay. we're just gonna wing it literally. You should, right, are you like gonna like lightly karate chop my back? Is that like? Go ahead and and roll another medicine check for me. Did I get another chair? Nope, not twenty. Oh! 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 Tass yeah, about to more... fucking hit him over the head with a chair again. Oh, all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You kind of roll him over, over and you kind of like chop the back shoulder, rub the shoulders, and eventually Borky, your I body. Give you, feels hear this? Nice and soft. Just yeah. a big. Oh, oh, there we go. Borky gets up. Oh, thank oh, God. There, you, there you go, Borky. It's called uh, Shiatsu Massage. I've never tried it before. But apparently Shiatsu it works. Massage, eh? Uh, close enough. Over, Taz with the chair over his head, so I don't need this then? Uh, I, just, I, I, I just, after, I just want Taz to hit a... Psh, ah! <laughs> yeah, I, I hit him in the knee with it. All right, go ahead and roll damage again. Roll D2. Oh, God! Oh, God! For funsies. Having a oh, wait, conversation. No, Thank deck. you so much for helping me. That still hits him, so yeah. <laughs> two. Yeah, they're taking up two points of damage, Borky. Oh, Over ah! slips to screech, and then scene cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, Borky I don't think down, I'm... dressed up <laughs> with his sword. <laughs> mm. Hey guys, quick question actually. As Borky pulls up a chair, sits on it like uh, like the second in command of the Star Trek Enterprise. What question? <laughs> Why is my room soundproofed? If I get injured, like just happened upstairs, I could be trapped for days, even 128 hours, if you will. Borky, because we can still hear you thrashing about upstairs. Oh. Also, didn't Willow install magical runes that deafen the entire like hallway? I thought it was just our yeah. runes. It's sound canceling. Yeah, they basically sound cancel out like. Mostly, I think it's just Borky's room, actually. I don't think it's yep. Borky's room. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Borky's room. Well, I guess the I guess the fucking secret's out now. <laughs> For a reason. <laughs> uh, oh, that's so considerate. Wait. So what are you doing today? <laughs> Me? What am yes, I doing? You. I have only one thing planned, my good sir. I'm back in town. We're here at the Sweet Dragon. I think it's time I go to the bank. And count my monies. See how my investment portfolio <laughs> has been doing. Wait, wait, Borky, can you even count? He's asking genuinely. He's not being a shit. Well, Borky's like, just I mean, on you? Oh no! <laughs> no, no, Borky. Yeah. Can can you go one, two, three, four, yes. five? Yes, I can do that, and I can go twice as high as that even. All right, all right. Greckles pulls out. Here's what 20... I'm gonna. No, here's no, what no, I'm no. Gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do while you're doing while you're pulling out. Here's okay. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down to the bank. Okay. I'm gonna walk in there and be like, is the number of monies in my bank higher than the number it was before? If that's a yes, that's good investments. Borky, what if they lie to you? <sighs> Borky, do me a favor. I, Greckles pulls out exactly 34 copper pieces and places them on the table. I want you to count these individually. The most, okay. the, the most horrifying experience, Borky. Has Borky, to, Borky, Borky, the, the Borky zoom out from the eyes. <laughs> Here's what happens, Borky. Borky. Borky puts all five fingers each on a, uh, each on a copper. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 
25, no, 30, roll, 35. Roll, roll, roll an intelligence check for me, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now this is if he's actually doing that. <laughs> yep. Or how well he did it. Or how well he does it. <laughs> oh, Three. <God. laughs> he has to restart, like, he probably about 14 nope. different times. Well, he has nope, to restart no way. it. No way. Okay, hold on. Mulligan. It's easier with gold doublooms. <laughs> Just, just work. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm just trying to let you know. Just be careful, buddy. No, this is why I put my money in the bank. I have far too much money. And I've decided that I may just invest it and see if there's a small piece of property in town. Rocky rubs his hands together. How does Borky know about investments? He heard the word once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. Puts down a newspaper that's upside down. Investments, eh? <laughs> well, right, aside I, from that, if you want me to come along, I'll come along. We need some I, meat backing them up around today, right? I guys, I'm in a, guys, I'm in a good okay. mood. We're home. We're home. We're here in the fest. Uh, it does got, feel good. I got one of two things I want to do. Uh, find winter. And or find Naragan and Athena and at least bring them up to speed. Cause, Naragan you know, is sleeping right now. He is dead asleep at the moment. You, so you bastard. All right, I'm, well. He's a nighttime boy. I'm sorry. Winter it is. What, Monty, why would I complain about this? I wake up at two o'clock in the afternoon and stay I'm, up till I'm going to give morning. you the dad eyes from downstairs. You get the fuck over to her. <laughs> I'm going. Damn uh, it. <laughs> I've got like two or three things to do above game, but whenever. Okay, let's go through everybody and see what everyone wants to do, and then we'll we'll do those things. Panic, what do you want to do? Find Helena. Okay, Panic wants to find Helena. Remy, what do you want to do? Find Helena. All right, so it's two <laughs> people. And then Reckles, where do you want to go? Uh, Iggy, Priest Irons, um... Yeah, Sully's always going to be out of reach. Well, no, we have access. We, we have we, we have the ability to go talk to her, don't you we? You can talk to uh, Pilchard. He's still around. Okay, I'll talk to Pilchard then, if if okay. he is around. Just one of the two. All right, and then uh, Borky, where do you want to go? Borky would like to go to the bank and also go to wherever you can see what's for sale in town. Okay, and you want to look at property. All right. Yeah, I want Borky wants to look to see what properties are available. <laughs> I, oh I, I I I love. I love how we're the complete opposite of what stereotypically our classes are. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a little bit yeah, I'm looking to make a good business investment in a nice mall. This is a good space. Yeah. <laughs> now, my portfolio is square. What could I do to make it an octagon? I think after looking at houses, you want to escape that in your D&D, in your &D, but that's okay. All right. This estate is real. It's like a real <laughs> estate. <laughs> uh, before, Borky, before you head out, uh, as the rest of the, everybody else kind of leaves the tavern, uh, Ty Borkington approaches you. Borky! Mr. Borkington! Borky gives him a big hug. Just a big oh, hug. Oh, Borky! Back, back you, crack. Look, you look bigger! Look at these muscles! Oh, yeah, look at, look at this. I got peaks on peaks, Mr. Borkington. Look at Your that. Pet, I mean, you, bicep. Could put a, you could put a glass of milk on that bicep and it wouldn't fall off. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, yes, indeed. Mr. Borkington, these strong Hi. arms carry the weight of the world upon them, it feels like sometimes. Borky, I, I have something I, 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 I have no, no, difficulties with. Hands on his shoulders. Look at me. <laughs> what are you again? Remember. Uh, you watch. You watch as he flips his head back and forth because he's got a fish head, and there's a there's an eye on either side. He just kind of flips, like keeps moving his head back and forth, trying to get <laughs> you in both eyes. He can't really do it. Uh, uh, you're my friend. Yes, I am. And what are you to me? I'd like to think a friend too. Yes, you are. So you could always speak clearly to me what's on your mind. Okay, well, um, I know it wasn't you, so I can trust you. But mm. for the past week, someone's been stealing food from the kitchen. Those bastards. Who would do such a thing? I, I don't know. I'd like you to find out. I've lost mm. an entire ham haunch. A whole haunch? An entire haunch of ham. A whole haunch? And a not under, and not entire under loaves, of, entire loaves of bread are going missing. Fruits oh and God. vegetables. Oh Jesus! That's almost an entire meal. It's more. It's enough to feed an army. 
Oh my god, an army is stealing food. Porky's like grabbing, rubbing his chin. God. Oh. Either okay. way, if you see anything suspicious, let me know, okay? I will. I will you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to be on watch in the back. I'm going to be on watch tonight. We're going to catch. We're going to catch this pantry pilferer, Mr. Borkington. Oh, my name is it, Porky the Orky. Okay. I got to go now. Okay. <laughs> you the <laughs> that is suspicious. Looks a panic. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, all right. So panic and Remy, you guys are now walking through the city streets of Alavast. So Remy's gonna kind of nudge Panic as they're walking. <laughs> so now that we're out of the street, Dragon, you can be honest with me. She's all right. Yes. Yeah, she's, well, she seemed like she was. She told me not to be suspicious. And I don't know what she meant by that. Uh, hopefully she gives us some information. My only guess would be because you contacted her while you were still considered fugitives, perhaps they did something to her. Mm, I hope not. There's going to be hell to pay if there is. Let's not be hasty. Let's hope that it was nothing. <sighs> That's what Should I'm hoping. Be so lucky? I do have to ask, though. How did you two meet? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine oh, like, panic goes semi-transparent, and then the whole events of the fight happens, and it comes back to panic. Can I jump in here and tell a joke real quick? It was a hot first. You do day. anyway, okay, so. Okay, yeah. Plus two. Anywho. Well. Um. Uh, Helena used to be with the United Orn clergy. Oh. And. Back when we were keeping Solly in the Sweet Dragon. She was kind of a part of a hunting party to try and find her and bring her back to Paratin or something. And she shot a spell at me. I didn't like it, so I burnt half her face off. And that's how I met Helena. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, right. We oh. sort of found her sitting on a bench. Apparently, she had been abandoned by the people she was with. So, this is similar yeah. to what happened with the other clerics that we met Audrey and all of them. Kind of. That's why I didn't want to fight them in the first place when we were on the boat. No, that makes sense now. Well, I'm glad you patched things together and apparently got her into the guard. She did that on her own. Ah. Yes, it was the most natural fit for her, being what she was. But, so I guess uh, your relationship is complicated then. <laughs> you could say that, I suppose. Uh, we're good friends, though. She she doesn't hold it against me much. At least, I don't think so. I highly doubt she would have taken your messages if she was holding it against you. Or <laughs> have agreed to meet you now if it got her in trouble. Sure. Do you know where she is? Shit. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there it Hang is. Hang on. I'll, I was like, I'll, I didn't uh, want to say it above gay, but... <laughs> she she didn't tell me when she was sending back to me. I, I assume she is at the guard station where she was assigned. I could Which spry on her, but I feel like that'd be going a bit further than I need to. <sighs> Which district? Uh, this one, right? Yeah, she, she lives in the barracks. Last, most of you know that she lives in the barracks on the uh, lower district. Well, 
even if we don't find her, maybe uh, Doros can tell us where she is. This is true, mm. and if she's at the barracks, then hard to be suspicious in front of all the guards. Unless that is suspicious. How would... Oh, goodness gracious. Well, let's just I find Helen. I don't... I don't know. Let's... <sighs> Hang on. Uh... Could I try scrying on Helena again? Yeah, you can attempt to. Yeah. I will scry on Helena. I will pull out the silver mirror, and I will look into it, and boom, arcane eye. Okay. Uh, can you click scrying for me? E. Oh, I got a grab In here, this. seen hey, here. Hey, I need to grab my die hard I forgot dice. how long of a spell that was. Say yeah, die hard dice? <gasps> die hard dice. Die hard dice. Die hard dice, the unofficial sponsors of the Unexpectables? I mean, not at all sponsors of the Unexpectables. They don't respond to my poetry. I don't think they love us. Oh, I, Listen, I gave them an ultimatum. You gave them an ultimate tomato? I did give them an ultimate tomato. Man, it must have tasted really good. Why would you give them a fruit like that? Uh, Technically, it can also be a vegetable, so let's uh, chill out. It's a throw. lie, Bosco, and you know it. Uh, that's, just big, that's just big vegetable getting into your head. Okay. Uh, you know the target well. Uh, Very well. They don't have one of her body parts, so <laughs> exactly what her face looks. Fucking like. what? Yeah, wow. there's. You get a huge bonus if you actually physically like have like a piece of hair or a nail or something like that. Oh, so we know what to grab off of her. Keep a bottle. Oh, hang times. on. Just take a lock of hair. There we hey, go. Helena, can I borrow some of your hair? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be easier to contact you in the future. It's this will be great for our relationship. Trust me. No, I'll always know where you are. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. So, this... What's your, what's your spell save, DC? 17. Okay, I gotta grab her character sheet. She rolled a natural 20. Fuck. Jesus! Yeah, oops. Is she resisting? Well... She doesn't know it's me casting she it. She doesn't oh, know shit. it's him, so... Uh, where is she? Don't be suspicious, Panic. Be suspicious. Let me put it this way. What's Instantly. the DC on your save, Panic? What am I being suspicious about? I'm just... I want to know where she is, and I don't know how to get to her. That's me in 19, so she's gonna pass. Eh. Sorry, dude. That was a good thought, though. I can't... Oh, well. It's this rainbow dice. This is the one that fucked you guys over multiple yeah, times. Yeah, maybe put that away. Rainbow dice? <laughs> uh, rainbow it's... dice from Die Hard Dice? Yeah, it's exactly from Die Hard Dice. Well, I'm not surprised, but... Uh, I think she resisted the scry. <clears throat> <clears throat> to be fair, if somebody was trying to poke around at my location and I could stop it, I would. So let's just check the barracks. It's probably safer. Uh, hmm... Field save. Da, 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 da. On a successful save, the target isn't affected. Yeah. I can't use the spell against it for again for 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, dude. That was. Yeah, bad. right. <laughs> it's fine. It's. Ah, uh, well. Guess we're. Uh, guess we're going to see uh, Doros at the barracks. Okay. You guys make your way eventually finding the barracks. You guys know. You guys know the lower districts at this point very, very well. Is it lower uh, or middle? You, Doros is lower. captain of the lower Got districts, it. so um, Stendin or now K is now the the uh, the, the main oh, guard for the soon. middle part. Yeah, uh, you guys make your way to the the kind of the biggest barracks area, which is where most of the guards stay, um, and make your way inside. Uh, you guys are questioned at first, like why are you going here? But then like they kind of recognize you. There's one guard who's like kind of smacks his buddy, goes that's Pan Grimtongue, and he's just like. The hero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they both kind of yeah. back away. Uh -huh. Panic in his head is like, yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm yeah. fucking famous now. <laughs> <laughs> Do we both hear that or just panic? Oh, yeah, you guys hear that. Mm. He just has this, this smug, satisfied grin. <laughs> uh, you guys make your way inside. Uh, the inside is, as always, uh, you hear kind of some random yelling of, of people who have probably been arrested uh, the sounds of guards kind of donning armor and making their way out. Uh, as you guys make your way down, you do see Captain Dorosky Grayscale sitting at a comedically tiny desk, uh, currently going through paperwork, and they're currently holding one person kind of, and they're they're getting statements from him. And he's just like, 
you don't have proof that I did it. And they're just like, shut up. And Duros is just kind of like writing off something and hands it to that guard and they process the prisoners. They take them down to, to put them into a cell as you guys make your way down. Mr. Grayscale. Mm. Captain Grayscale. He kind of looks Core up to you. Captain. And kinda nods and gives a salute. Ramiel salute him back. He goes to stand up, but like the desk kind of goes with him and he kind of stops. <laughs> and like, like That's in game, we're laughing. Shimmies the the desk off like a like a tight skirt, just kind of like, <laughs> <clears throat> puts the desk back down. I, I, I do hope the desk's a, a are taller than desk. Them. I do hope they're bigger in the middle district. Mm, mm. He kind of shrugs. Need to get you an extension, a taller desk. <laughs> We're actually looking for someone. If you could help us, Doros. Yeah, is Helena working today? You watch as Doros's face goes from like you know taking in the information to like going to turn and then realizes something and just sighs and looks towards you and uh, kind of shakes his head. Shakes it no insight. Yeah, yeah go ahead. likewise. I'm good at this. I have, one days. I have expertise in this now. Yeah, you do. <sighs> Nice. 25. Oh, 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 God. Wow. Natural 20. Natural 20. 20 on the That's other side. That's a natural one. Ah! What the? Oh, roll 20. <laughs> I can't. I can't right Remy, now. Remy. Remy. Helena is dead. She's dead. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> she just um, died in the time it took for me to tell you'll, you that. You'll start, you'll start seeing Remy look back and forth between Panic and Doros because he sees them both kind of reacting in a similar manner. Uh, oh, no. As you, as you, uh, the roll for Doros here. Okay, that's a nice three, Doros. Um, looking at Doros, he doesn't seem upset or worried. He seems annoyed, like irritated by something. Um, as he kind of just like kind of huffs and, and turns towards you. Remy's going to step up to Doros. Wait, he just spoke to her this morning. She cannot be dead. He looks at you confused, like, oh my god, she's dead? Like, it's like, mm, like, like, oh my no, god. No, 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 she's, she's not dead. She's not dead. Uh, has she not been showing up? You watch as Doros goes back to the comically tiny desk and pulls open a drawer uh, and hands you a, uh, a ledger of employment. Um, and it says uh, that she's been terminated from her position. Oh, as a guard. no. Terminated? Well, did she at? She helped did she a ask for this, or no. what did she? Mm -hmm. He kind of shakes his head. Uh, he goes into another drawer and uh, hands you a letter. Oh no! I'll read it. It is from the Alabas Inquisition. Fucking oh, of course. Oh, fucking Bismani. No, knew pa it. <laughs> Panic mm. says that out loud. Fucking of course. What is it? I just show him the seal of the Alabast Inquisition. For helping a fugitive, no doubt. That's Bismuthy Printash and their bitch brigade. Uh, inside of the letter is, it's a lot of formal jargon that's just like really dense and annoying, but the gist of it is that due to suspicion of spying, um, they ask that Helena be removed from her position to prevent any sort of information getting out of the city for now. Uh, and I'm assuming that's why you're angry. Doris just kind of snorts. Probably why I couldn't speak to her or scry on her. Because she was being interrogated. Hmm. Doris nods. Uh, he goes over to the, the desk and takes out a piece of paper and writes down an address for you. And he hands it to you, Panic. Mm. Uh, it is the address for a butcher shop in the lower district. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, mm. We'll see what we can do. You have our sincerest apologies, Doros. We'll do our best to make it right. He just waves dismissively, like, ah, whatever. Like, kind of just waving his hand, like, don't worry about it. <sighs> yes, I know, but it, it's the honorable thing to do at the very least. Hmm. As you mm. guys are standing there, you hear the kind of tiny pitter-patter, almost like a chihuahua on a hardwood floor. Uh, as something very quickly darts between your legs, Remy, just like through your legs. What? What? Uh, you watch what as that? Bright the Barchoba leaps on top of Doros's desk with a little, like, little paper folded piece of paper in its mouth. Oh. Is it giving it to Doros or to us? 
To Doros. Oh. You watch as Doros' expression kind of like his shoulders kind of lift back and he looks like his face brightens as he takes the note and he kind of like, look, he like takes a note to go and open it but then sees you guys and like kind of turns away and then like puts a hand in front of the note and folds it open and like keeps uh, looking back at you mm, and looking back panic. at the note. Panic, we should probably get going. Time is of the essence, yes? Mm. Probably. Ah, uh, yes. Well, the quintessential Captain? call you... Sorry. <laughs> what were you nice, gonna say? Uh... I was going to say the quintessential, uh, your wife is calling you from, from home at work. <laughs> That's why Remy's like, okay, we're going to go. Get some milk on the way home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> you pick me up some Cheetos at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, it's the 11-7 in Alabast. Ah, I see. Ah. Soka. Soka. All right, All right well, panic we're, and we're run here to take off. Yeah, yeah, we're going to head to this butcher shop. All right. Uh, you guys make your way through this General street. General look of annoyance to him as yep. he's walking. Yeah, you guys walk through the city street. Uh, eventually, you make your way to a butcher shop uh, called Jawbone. That's what it's called. Jawbone Meats. Jawbone Meats. Uh, it's got, like, a hanging sign that is literally a jawbone framing uh, this wooden sign that has, like, the logo on it. Um, and it's pretty busy in here. It's a very busy butcher shop, and it is run by Knowles. Hey, they recognize me, though, eh? They do, yeah. A lot of them kind Party of... Party game champion! <laughs> Not all of them recognize you. There are there's more than one Knoll family, you assume, in the city, but this a lot of them do. A lot of them kind of nod towards you and kind of put a hand to their chest and uh, as you go into the butcher shop, uh, you guys smell like the, the smell of blood on the air and, and cured meats and hanging sausages and jerk spices and all sorts of fragrances. Um, you watch as like this really, really big male knoll who looks like he probably, you know, like he could like punch someone and blast their head off instantly. Like this is like 90% like arm on this, on this knoll. <laughs> um, is like piling up uh, a bunch of like really thick cut uh, chuck meat um, and is like folding it over in these black uh, you know paper packages and brown paper packages and whatnot and handing it off to various customers, not just Knowles, there are dwarves here as well um, and various others who kind of make their way out. Uh, as you approach, you do see Helena in like kind of a butcher apron uh, currently, like, folding over, and you're watching as one of the gnolls is teaching her how to fold over and, and package the meat at the moment as you walk in. Her hair's kind of tied back into, like, a ponytail, um, and she just looks, like, very focused on what she's doing. She doesn't notice you at all. <clears throat> Run <into clears throat> Manico first. Yep, there it is. You watch as the big gnoll, who's kind of, like, folding up and handing over a parcel, goes, What cut you want? Uh, give me prime rib. Yeah, how much poundage do you want on prime rib? Hmm. Give me like four or five pounds prime rib. Hey, how many cuts you want? One big one or you want how many cuts? Five. Yeah. You watch as he grabs like a big chuck of meat, just grabs a big cleaver and starts just chopping through it. As he's doing so, you watch as Helena looks up and then sees you and it's like, like you can see the sudden realization and she turns to the other Noel and you see her kind of whisper something and the Noel kind of nods and she runs over towards you. Panic. Helena. Hey, um, can I take my, and she turns over to the, the female Noel and the Noel just kind of gives a nod and she goes, I can take my break. Let's get something to eat. Yeah. Um, I'll be back soon. Thank you so much. You guys take out outside of the butcher shop, and like yeah. the doll is like, "Hey, pay for your ribs, your steaks." Oh, how much? Uh, it's a nice cut of meat. Um, for everything total, come to about probably I'm gonna say about I'm gonna say about ten gold. That's a deal. Sure. Yeah, uh, big ass meat. I'll, Goddamn. I'll I'll slap a platinum on the uh, on the table. Ooh. Thank you kindly, sir. He takes it and pockets it. And as you guys I give him the two-finger salute off my horns, and uh, I'll walk with Helena. We'll, I'll take her to the uh, the place where we we uh, had lunch the, the other time, the tea shop. Oh, the tea shop? Okay, yeah, you make your way. I think it was called Dolly's Pastries. Is that what it was? Yeah, Dolly's Pastries. That yeah, was Dolly's Pastries. 
Uh, yeah, you guys make your way over there and you guys sit down um, and you guys get like, you know, like, like cucumber sandwiches and stuff like that. It's like, you know, salon food and then things like that. Um, as you guys sit down, there's like sandwiches and other like things and whatnot. And uh, you guys sit down. Uh, Helena like lets her hair down and stuff as you guys sit down at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, You're back. Yeah. Uh, tried to contact you a couple days ago, but uh, couldn't for some reason. Hmm. Um, I, she kind of looks nervous and looking around. I, I'm probably being watched right now. Detect magic. Okay, go ahead. Can he cast that over the course of? Uh, I can. I'm using a spell talk. slot. Oh, okay. Do it. I'm looking around for scrying orbs. Okay, you don't see any scrying orbs. You do see that there is stuff in this this actual like this restaurant where they're clearly using magic to like preserve things or whatnot. Like the standard affair like the sweet dragon has, but beyond that, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. I don't think they're being watched right now. Maybe it's hard to say. I don't know what's going on, but things are getting more complicated and. Uh, the dragons were the most immediate threat, and I'm glad it sounds like everything worked out. Worked out yeah, as best we, as we got um, we got quite a lot of people out of there. She nods, kind of taps her finger on the the teacup. Um, she kind of nods towards you, Remy. She, I don't know what was the last time you met her. She doesn't know you that well. Mm, I feel like I met her once. She was accompanying guards for something, but I don't That's think they've right, spoken yeah. before. She kind of like awkwardly nods towards you, not really sure what to, quite what to make of you, and kind of nods her head. Um, uh, Remy's oh, going to uh, extend his hand. I don't remember or recall if we've had the pleasure of meeting, but my name is Remus Corbeau. I'm a friend of Panic's. I think I've met you before, and I've seen you around. Um, it is nice to meet you. I, if you're a friend of Panic, I know I can trust you. Um, she kind of taps we, her finger on the glass. She seems kind of like her mind is busy. I I think I might know what uh, what happened. You you do? Doros filled us in. Oh, that's impressive for him to be able to do that. She kind of looks like perplexed, like, did he talk? <laughs> he showed us. Yeah. I think she looks very nervous. I don't know for certain, but I think Viantius is coming back. For you? No, no. Well, I don't know. Probably not. I think they're coming back for Solly again. And I don't think they're going to be as nice this time. And Bismati Primtash informed you of this? They're worried about spies. I think at this point, Alavast justifiably is not a fan of Periton and its ways. Do they know who you were in contact with? That's what they were asking me. They thought I was a spy based off of my uses of my spells, and I informed them I was speaking with you. How did they know we were sending? They can see me. They have people following me. Guards informed as well. She's got people in her entire network who just give her information. Uh, I understand. So they, well, they obviously... Obviously, a tiefling is going to be the last person who's going to be a spy for the United Oran clergy. Yes, but they're still nervous, and justifiably so. I'll just regularly throughout the conversation, over the course of my detect magic, I'll be looking for yeah. scrying orbs of any kind. For the time being, they want me away from the guard, just away from sensitive material until they're certain, or at least until this... I think visitation's over, but they've been looking at other worshippers of Orin, or at least people who defected from, just to keep an eye on them, make sure that they're not, well, a double agent, I guess. She sips her tea. Panic sort of squints and then looks in the direction of the sweet dragon. 
I'm not surprised. When we were sent here to collect Solly, Ragus Kate and Viantius were very adamant. They were worried about this place. We sat the cross in, from them in jail cells. He seemed to look at this place with disdain. I don't know. Like I said, I was just a lowly cleric, but I think they're afraid of this place for some reason, and I don't know why. Hmm. Panic looks up to the attic. Yeah, Remy's already looking at it, having seen what they saw coming in. still a lot about this place that we don't know. I just worry, she kind of sips her tea. If they come for Lady Soliandris and Lady Soliandris doesn't go, I'm worried what that fear will make them do. It'll be all out war. You watch as Helena kind of seizes up a bit and just like sips her tea again. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll just cup my hand over her hand that's cupping her teacup and be like, hey, whatever happens, we'll be ready. She nods and solemnly goes back to her drink. I just, I worry for Lady Sully Andrus. If I may ask a question, Panic. Uh, yes. Helena, what would you like us to do on your behalf? Uh, you just... If you need if you need work, the sweet dragon is always looking for people. We can uh, take you in. Uh, no, no. Zarv got me a nice job so I didn't have to leave the districts um, at the butcher shop. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I, I think for now that's fine. I just don't want to... I mean, you guys are heroes. The council holds you in high regard. That would be like probably even more suspicious, to be honest with you. Oh, please. Uh, the council already has a pretty low opinion of us. That's given not how what they I've heard. To, given how they reacted to the task situation. That's not what I heard. What did you hear? I heard that All they sent someone... we know is that someone... there were bounty hunters after a task. Yeah, but that wasn't the council. Those were independents. Did you not hear the crier after the end of the attack? Well, I guess we didn't. We were underground, weren't we? Um, after the attack, there was a messenger who basically said anyone who could deliver tasks to Darkus, the people would be released. The council knew that this would send people into a frenzy, so they sent someone to warn you guys. I think you might be confused. They didn't doubt you. They trusted you. It was the independent people who lost their loved ones that were willing to do anything to get them back. They were the ones that were going after you. Hmm. They didn't have as much faith as the council did. Monty, can I insight her to see if she maybe has a tainted view of what happened or is maybe... Go ahead, yeah, go ahead, out? go ahead okay. and do an insight check. Um, yeah! Point. Given her given her close proximity to Doros and probably the politics involved, she 100% believes this and seems completely convicted that that is probably what happened. Okay. Um, given, and you think about it too, you as, you as a person who's worked obviously in the armies and stuff like that, it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, Darkus, you know, intentionally made a lot of not only targeting tasks, but also created a lot of unrest. Um, he forced a situation. People were desperate to get their loved ones back, willing to do anything to get their loved ones back. And task was the catalyst for that thing. So the fact that the council just went out and, you know, warned you guys was not only one, you know, putting trust in you guys, but also two was a way to ensure that the entire city just didn't come down to just absolute pandemonium. Oh, on the um, inside, I'm doing the fucking cicada. Oh. Yeah, thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> by the way, I'm going to say this as a DM. I don't know where anyone got the idea that Council is being super shitty about this. Um, so, I don't know where that came from, but that is legitimately what, why they did what they did. Um, I, and you get the sense that Helena is 100% for this. Yes, they probably spent right. time arguing over what to do about you guys, but that was probably intentionally meant to delay for you guys. Mm. Okay, so, but 
is but she is she is close to the situation and she believes this and has reliable sources. It was, Absolutely. It was yeah. more of a joke okay. than anything. I mean, yeah. we know half the council. Yeah. Helena Helena seems like Helena's not one who would probably lie. Like she legitimately carries everything she says right on her sleeve. Mm. She's not a person to be deceptive or lie. And if she if she has a secret, she won't tell it. Mm. We left pretty early after the attack. Didn't I know. Even get to say goodbye to you. I was so worried. But I understand. Yeah, that was uh, no, that was my fault. I. But thank you for sending have. messages. It it eased us, everybody. I yeah. let your I let your staff know, and I let Doris know too, because he was worried about Task as well. They're close, so. Would you like us to speak to the council on your behalf, or let it go? Uh, let it go. I mean, I haven't done anything wrong, and Ms. Maddie Primtash, while firm, she's not being tyrannical or unfair. If it were Periton, I probably would have just been killed. But she was willing to listen to me and hear about my experiences and my thoughts. All right. That's what you want. Yeah. But if anything happens, you let me know. Okay. And I'll do everything in my power to help you. It's kind of okay? nice to work at the butcher shop. I liked working for the guard, but it was pretty stressful sometimes. And honestly, I could use a break. Uh, Panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to give the perimeter a once over. Let me know when you're done. And then Remy's going to get up and let them talk if they need to. And he's going to he's going to look for people, but you he's watch as, give them... as you as you go to leave, uh, Helena kind of grabs the, your gauntleted arm and kind of goes, "Just listen, if they're watching me, that's fine. I understand. Don't be suspicious, okay?" Of course not. I'm just going for a walk. She lets you go. Looks a little concerned, but lets you go. And I'll, he will I'll go order. out of listening. He will go out of listening range. So this is all you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll order a couple of uh, slices of pie for both of us. Oh, what kind of pie? This is Ooh, important. This is mm -hmm. this is really important. This could make or break your character. If you buy the wrong <laughs> pie, he will die. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Do a pie die. check. <laughs> the dire <laughs> train. <laughs> Um, this place has cheesecake, doesn't it? It does have cheesecake. Uh, raspberry cheesecake for Helena. Okay. Uh, cherry for me. Cherry pie? Cherry pie. You're fucking dead. You're dead tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I hate cherries. I got sick off of cherries. I fucking hate cherries. Anyway. Oh, what is uh, Helena like? I like huh? cherries. Like you, you, say, you saved it with the cheesecake. I just had a bad experience with the cherries. Listen, if you like listen, cherries, that's fine, listen, but I don't like listen, cherries. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and hear you guys not compliment strawberry rhubarb. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. The Rhubarb's pie. pretty good. Rhubarb's Where the pretty fuck good. is apple in this equation, you guys? What the guys, fuck? Guys, I don't know why mm. you like rhubarb. I mean, they use it to like on the freeway and stuff, but like it's disgusting. <laughs> No, good no, pull, no, no, good no, pull, you're, thinking, you're thinking of drinking way too much and being really messed up. Oh wait, that's food. I've anyway. been there. Anyway, uh, you order yourself a disgusting, awful cherry pie, uh, and, you, and you order. <laughs> you, order Helena, you order Helena. You uh, order Helena a delicate, soft, fluffy cheesecake. Um, and the, the 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 waitress who probably would love to be anywhere else but here. This place is flowery and it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, sets them down in front of you guys, and she like kind of. Trying to contain her excitement, uh, Helena kind of digs into the cheesecake, and it's just like, mm. you don't get the sense that she gets to eat, you know, really good food very often. <laughs> it's just so good. I'm glad you like it. I, I think I remember you getting a cheesecake last time we were here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we were going to see a, a concert uh, before... Mm. You know, all mm -hmm. of this shit happened. So it, she kind of sets down the fork. It got delayed. Um, Zarv actually has changed it around. He's trying to raise funds to basically pay for a lot of the buildings that have been damaged that don't have a real guild circle to fix them. Um, and he's going to be hosting it there. If you want to be part of it, you could talk to him maybe. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've, I love raising funds. I mean, we did some great work for Tent Town, and I, I think this would be a. I think this would be a good use of our time. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be working behind you? the scenes. I, I'm working behind the scenes. I'm going to be dealing with moving stuff onto the stage and off the stage. And curtains and stuff like that. Zarv is spearheading the performances, but it's going to be a menagerie, as it always is. They might be able to slip you in, but it sounds like they have a full repertoire, but 
Yeah, you, you know what? That's fine. I'm I'm a lifelong lover of music, and I perfectly fine listening to it as well as playing it. But mm. you should you should ask Zarv if if you could perform. You know, uh, I haven't heard you sing in a long time. I um, she kind of like waves her hands in front of her. That's thanks, but I don't know about I don't I don't know about that. I I I'm still adjusting, and I'm not ready yet. I I like it though. I I like the musical menagerie and everyone there. I, I I just don't think I'm ready for that sort of thing yet. She kind of taps the the knife on the on the the, the plate before taking another piece of the cheesecake and kind of nervously eating it. Okay, well, if you're nervous about playing in front of crowds and stuff, I mean, I'm more than happy to help you with what little knowledge I have. Thanks. I want to do it at my own pace. Okay. Like everything. Remy, while you're outside walking mm -hmm. around, go ahead and roll a perception check with advantage. Because it's sight Hooray. Oh. Mm. That's going to be a 24. <laughs> I rolled twice the same number. Uh, as you're kind of like standing and kind of just like maneuvering around, uh, you do see um, a sort of like cleric y, paladin y type with the mark of Chelstonia uh, sitting on the corner of an alleyway, kind of watching the uh, the belly pastry shop, just watching. Okay. To appear to be an agent of Bismati Primtash, probably keeping an eye on things. All right, Remy's going to do as Helena requested and let him be. Okay. He doesn't seem like, I'm going to stab someone. He's just kind of like <laughs> leaning up against the corner, just like, ugh, I wish it was like Friday. <laughs> like, he looks kind of bored by the whole ordeal i really want to talk to him but i can't be suspicious i'm gonna let him be don't okay. be suspicious don't be suspicious helena okay. said don't bother him so i'm not gonna bother him <laughs> all right so you uh, head out. yep i'm gonna say because you don't want to be seen go ahead and roll a stealth check for me oh jesus oh no well it was nice knowing you six no, it's not without disadvantage because it's just you're being inconspicuous. Oh, this 16. Isn't, this, isn't, this isn't sounder or movie okay. based. This is just like, you know, blending into a crowd. Got it. 16. Okay. Yeah. You, he, this guy doesn't notice you at all. He's just like cool. kind of like yawning and seems bored. Uh, and, and you kind of just make your way back inside if you want to. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I. Oh, oh, hey, you're back. Yeah. Uh, everything all right? I, I can wait outside to go down. Oh, no, I actually really should get back to work. I, um, yeah, if you need me, I'll be at the, um, I'll, I'm actually staying at uh, a place now. I have, like, a small place I'm living because I can't live oh. in the anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, you know, I, I enjoy these just little chats with you. We haven't gotten to talk a lot in a while. We should, uh, we should make this a regular thing. Really? If you want. If you want. Yeah, absolutely. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Fuck! <laughs> Why oh, is it disadvantage? No. This will be she, fun to watch. She's probably stressed. Hey, Mo Monty, can I chime in with something to give, like, to aid nope. him? In no. No. Nope. Fuck, damn it. All right. <sighs> I tried, buddy. Come on, you got this. This is all you do. Yeah, all day, every day. Let's Ball go, out, baby. Dude. Ball out. Let's go! Mm, Not bad! Nice! Not bad! Not bad. You kind of like smile at her and she smiles and goes, yeah, we should get to be friends. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Friendship yeah. is the best ship. Absolutely. Hey, it's a start. Oh. Okay, well, I've Troy, dude, run. it's a start. Roll an insight check. Oh, Monty, why are you destroying? <laughs> Monty's like, let me be clear about this. So there's no I'm ambiguity. only imagining the chat right now. Like, fuck. 17. <laughs> uh, fucking goddamn it. Uh, I cast Zone of Friendship. She is oblivious as fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. Without any other connotation in her brain. Uh, as she stands up and waves and, and runs out the door. All right, have a good day. Uh, the meal in total comes to about seven silver. I'll just put a, I'll just put a gold down. And okay. and 
And now we remember what relationships were like in Periton. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how and how completely there. fucked it made everyone. Uh, R- R- Remy's gonna put a goal down before you do. Hmm. He puts his gold away. <laughs> right. uh, we're gonna have to work on that. <clears throat> and he's gonna start <laughs> walking out. Uh. Hmm. I think both of us need some work on it. Not not you, me and her. No, I, I got what you meant. Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> right. uh, you make your way outside. Uh, Greckles. Yes. You want to go talk to Iggy? One thing real quick. Uh, hey, Borky. Let me show it on. Hey, um, he he just kind of he's fidgeting a little bit, kind of looking down to the to the side. You said you didn't have anything to do, right? Oh no, I am going to go to the bank, and I do have to find out what properties are available for my upcoming venture. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> would you mind coming with me? Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Well, where to? I uh, well, I I gotta talk to Iggy. Okay. <laughs> there's there's a lot of weird stuff that we found that I gotta see if he's gonna do anything with. Yeah, I mean, if anyone, Iggy. And uh, I need to talk to with some really important people, but I wanted someone else to be there. Okay, do you want me to like? You want me to just listen, or do you want me to like? If it's awkward, jump in there and be me. Honestly, Borky. <laughs> Honestly, Borky, what I need is a friend to come with me. Well, as the immortal gods once said, you've got a friend in me. Borky puts his arm around him. All right. Are we going the right direction, though? Uh, No, I, th- I think we need to go this way. He just just puts the arm up around his you gigantic guys, you muscular guys back. walk outside of the sweet dragon and immediately do a 180 and walk inside. <laughs> We're, going We're going that way. We're going this way. Out of the way, uh, out of the way. I'm technically a war boss. The, out of the way. I think you got the hymn wrong there, Taka. It's Get Friend. 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 Get a metal sculpturous nightmare. It is, it is a almost like large like aeroplane hangar um, with multiple like like almost floor to wall, and these are like really tall walls like of material and metals and basic tools. Um, Iggy and Fluffy like work across from each other. Um, uh, this this room is kind of narrow and, and is vertically like sound. Uh, and they are across from each other by the vertical cut. So, like, it's kind of each side has a thin amount. One is Crazy Inventor. The other one is Fluffy and his 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 goings about. Um, oh, Fluffy, do, I, you can, do we see Fluffy? Yeah, Fluffy is currently working. Um, it looks like he's currently uh, working on, uh, like, a metal structure for the door. Uh, he's kind of fixing up stuff. And it looks like he's got a bunch of other work that's outside of the uh, the Sweet Dragon that he's working on for the city itself. He's contractually uh, Bor- obligated to. Borky goes to. for a high five. Hey, Swuffy, how's it going? <laughs> Fingers. He high fives you. Yeah, it's true. How's your wife? <laughs> okay, then. Have a good day, Fluffy. He, he kind of just waves and shoves something back into the forest. Borky has no idea Skinny's pregnant, by the way. Because he yeah, was not true. down before. You were not there yet. Yep. I, I think he's got a lot on his mind, Borky. Yeah, he does. He's got, like, he's got a wife and a job. Oh, God, that sounds exhausting. Uh, and soon to be a kid. Why? Did, why? What, what happened? Borky, Skinny's pregnant. She's pregnant? Uh, yeah. God. I, I, I guess that's right. You were still struggling with your back. Oh, my gosh. He watches Fluffy turns around because he's still right there. He turns around. Oh, and he goes, would have said that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he, kind of turns, he turns towards the TV and goes, Prenart. 
and kind of goes back to Preenart. And not not Porky, you need to go buy a Luigi board. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi board. Why will you use this Luigi board to summon to a ghost? To the... <laughs> And when the ghost for those is here, you, for those we will make sure not he's nice and fit with proper exercise. For those of you who are not aware, in the Prince Division, we changed Luigi boards into Luigi boards. Luigi boards because I'm a troll. Because it's uh, funnier. Uh, you guys that. head over to Iggy, who is currently hanging upside down on like a piece of chain, like going through like bins of what looks like bolts or other various different nuts and screws, like kind of in this giant, just organized chaos is the best way to put it. Hmm. Uh, hey, Iggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, watch his, you, watch his, you watch his head, like, partially turns, but both of you guys just, like, like snap into place, pointed towards you. Uh. Hello? Uh, hey, do you have a minute? Mm, a minute, I have a minute. It's almost lunchtime. I could wait for lunch. I'm really hungry. I would like to eat a sandwich for lunch. Uh, uh we got some really good stuff for you, actually, Iggy. Ooh, stuff. I adore stuff. You watch as it kind of climbs down. On uh, stands yeah. in front of we you. Have, we have a series. We have a series of things for you. So uh, we know you like to tinker, and we found some doozies that you might be able to make some interesting things out of. Uh, he pulls out the music box, the the um, uh, predator head with the electric tongue blade, and uh, let's see here: the five steel, three bronze, and ten iron okay. ingots. <laughs> Time out. Time out. Time out. One time thing out. at a time. Okay, the sorry. I gotta write these down. I gotta okay. write these down, so give me one second, because I've okay. done the date, so this is... Uh, okay. Ooh, stuff. I adore, I adore stuff. Ooh, stuff. I adore stuff. Uh, can't believe Just let me know if you need to repeat anything. Oh, uh, it's 2020. That's not 200. We're not there yet. Okay, there we go. So you have the music box. The music box. Where'd you, um, get, that from? Where'd you get that music box from again? I That was used to open the door. That's right. At, I figured the mechanical components would be worth something to to use, like for other projects. Okay. Um. Uh, you watch as you hand it to him, and he takes it up, and he kind of looks at it, and he goes, oh, and he kind of like he watches the eyes flick around, and he seems, for the first time ever, a little bit like stumped as he looks at this, and he kind of oh, turns wow. to you and goes, "Where did you get this object?" Um, the Mountain of Repetition, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know I mean, where that is. That's ridiculous. That doesn't exist. Shot liar. Liar. Porky points at it. Lies. You're all liars. And you got to see that's kind of not opens true. Up I can never, I can never tell a lie. You are confusing me right now. Iggy, if we're lying, then why do you look so perplexed? Mm, a good theory, a good hypothesis, and a good conclusion. The works of this are very, very complex. Even beyond that, I would think of a normal person. But this oh. is fascinating. Rather fascinating. Look at this. Look at this. And he like, hands okay. it over. And it's just like a bunch of complicated <laughs> shit you don't understand. Bor like, Borky, oh, oh, quick quick question about this, by the way. Borky pulls out, God bless him, he pulls out the helmet and like breaks off that, that metal piece. Tink. The cog? Like no, the cog. All right, so this, by the oh, I already had that off. Oh, by the way, yeah. here's, a here's, a, here's, a, here's a cog from the top of a magical mountain. We, actu we actually ran into Oriara. Mm -hmm. Nice lady. He watches, he like throws his head back and just starts laughing. Like he just told him the best joke ever. No, it's real. It happened. Man, okay, Iggy, you're laughing now. He pulls out the mechanical snake teeth that self-replicates poison. Mm. How about this, then? Fascinating. I gotta write down the cog real first. That's fine. First. Not the gawk. The cog, I can't Dude, I love, I love gonk droids. Oh. Snake teeth. Roger, roger. Uh, he takes those and looks at them. Do you have any more of these objects? I would like to look closer at them. Uh, plenty actually. He pulls out the um, the uh, the predator head with the uh, the electronic or the electric uh, tongue blade. His eyes widen as much as a chameleon's eyes can widen as he as you kind of unload these pieces. Yeah. This gives me an excellent idea. I was hoping you could uh, make something real interesting out of these. Oh, I do have a couple of things to kind of augment supplies if need be. Uh, that's the five steel, three bronze, ten iron ingots. All right, so we have five steel ingots. Uh, five bronze, you said? Three bronze. 
three bronze. And then... The tin iron. Tin iron. Yeah, you guys have a lot of ingots. Uh, those actually are supposed to be given to Fluffy, not... To oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I mean, so he just... just he, he takes them, but he's kind of, like, holds one up and goes... He goes, Fluffy, we have more material! And Fluffy's like... And kind of thumbs up and goes back as the forge kind of... And he's like... And goes back to work. Pregnant. Yeah, especially when it comes to those teeth. That's something I could probably really use if you could find any way to... Uh, I don't know, I guess do something with it. I, I have no idea how you do what you do, Iggy, but you're amazing doing it. I have been working on a project. And you watch this, you just, just like there's a there's a pile of stuff on top of the table. He just takes his hands and just shoves it off the side and brings up the stuff you just brought him. Given a current predicament with a lack of guard, night guard, not that it's a problem, more that it was just a misfortune and we we're kind of running low and people power is a little bit flawed. I have been working on a bit of a project for a particular construct, perhaps, that may act as a sentry of usefulness. All right. This would work excellently based off the complication of this head. I could make a body for it, and I could install the teeth to perhaps be our own guard for our own location. Uh, uh, be interested to see what you come up with, Iggy. I will get boarded right away. And you watch as he kind of like climbs up the chain and starts just grabbing pieces that you don't even know what they are. Right. That fella right there, he's a uh, eclectic, yes? Is that the word? You know, Borky, I have no idea when it comes to him. Hmm. Uh, really quick, I, I did want to drop off the silver water sample and the salt spotted water sample with Willow either to use or just to have because sure, it's interesting. Yeah. She's probably home. So just, just. We're, we're just quickly dashing up the stairs with a... Yeah, you guys head over to Willow's Tower. As you guys open it up, um, it is a bit different. Uh, it looks like she's been... The furniture's all gone. Uh, it's basically oh. just, like, the actual laboratory itself. And as you guys look down the steps, you see her kind of running, running up the steps, which is a place she never really hangs out. And she kind of runs up and goes, Oh, Crickles! Oh, Borky! Hello. And she ah, just comes over and gives you guys a big hug. And just goes, hey, how's it going? It's going great. Hey. A lot oh. of changes around here. What happened? Oh, well, me and Doros got a place to live. Mm. Good. So we moved that's everything good. there. Uh, that's going to be great. Is it like, is it, I'll ask, I'll ask it, is it built for him? Like, it's like goes into rooms without having to duck. Oh, um, he doesn't mind the tight spaces. So mm. it's, it's nice. He actually doesn't like places that are too big. Probably because of his family. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Willow, I, I have something for you. I don't know if you can do anything with it or if you just like it, but uh, sure. We we had a couple things in our travel. Uh, here, this is a, uh, a a water sample that was just. It had some kind of weird semi diluted silver. I really don't know what to make of it. Okay, I'll take a look at it. And she takes it and kind of like spins it around, and she kind of watches little bits of pieces of minerals kind of swirl around. Fascinating. Okay, I'll take a and look at it and see what I can make of it. And then uh, here's this. It's a, a salt-spotted water sample. Where, where we were, it was like small ponds with different kinds of minerals and water mixed in. It was... I'll, I'll have to tell you about it later. Okay. It might not have magical uses, but it might have medicinal uses. I could probably, at the very least, if I can't do anything with it, I could find someone who might want to buy it. Well, I mean, if nothing else, I thought it would make for a good souvenir from the last travel. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I have big news. Um, uh -huh. My shop registry's been approved, so this location oh, wow. will become a shop. Hell wow. yes! That's wow. awesome. Not What's to that? take away from your experience, but where can I go do that? Um, well, you'll have to get approval from a guild. So okay. um, if you want to run any sort of business, you need to be part of a guild that requires okay. that business. Okay. Um, and then you need approval from members okay. of that guild. It's, it's complicated. It. it depends on mm -hmm. what it is. So mm -hmm. you can't just open a business in town. You have to... Okay be part of a guild and have experience and have I, a... I see insight on Borky is this <laughs> she looks at you like is this registering or is this just going right through yeah, no no really? Borky, Borky's nodding okay I have a sh fine you guys can insight all you want no no it's fine if, if there's nothing to insight it's okay um but the good news is that means I'm part of the exchange so um essentially I might have certain things that might need to be collected so if you want to hire mercenaries to do that um, if they succeed, we can exchange it for stuff for you guys. That mm, means sounds good. Spells, magical item. Um, I could potions, potions. magical po health potions. You know, if and I feel like I feel like we never have enough. 
you know, and that's nothing against you. They're really diff oh, difficult to make, so. They are. Uh, so if mm -hmm. someone in the exchange could give me tools or materials that could make that easier, um, mm -hmm. they'll probably want something in exchange. And if you guys are able to hire on some mercenaries to do that, then, well, mm -hmm. it's a benefit to you guys. That makes I can sense. I can give you more details later, um, but yeah, no, so very exciting. We're the only thing I'm having difficulties with is a name. I, I don't know what to call my shop. So, um, well, well, what, well, what is a feeling that they will feel when they enter? Um, uh, she kind of looks really unsure. Good. You know, I'm just kind of spitballing here, but um. I kind of like Willow's Wonders. Oh, oh, that's really good. I like that a lot, mm. Greckles. Mm, that's yes, pretty good. Willow's, Willow's Wonders. I like that. That's very good. I'll take that one. Yeah, it's 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 you. It's easy to remember. It rhymes. Yeah. It has it has it has a little a little uh, alliteration. A alliteration, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yes. Doros, Doros had some name ideas, but they were she got just she kind of like pulled like full unfolds a piece of paper and it's just like the potion shop, <laughs> buy potions <laughs> here, and then, and then the last one is just potions with a period at the end. <laughs> oh my god, Doros is texting like dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be of help. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted if there's anything in the exchange and um. Don't worry, leave it up to me. All right. All right. Well, 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 Greckles. I must find the cheese guild. Borky, I don't I don't know if they have a cheese guild. They may have like a, a baker's or a dairy guild. A consortium. A cabal. A cheese cabal. <laughs> the <laughs> what? Beat me no. to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Borky, I mean, you've been saving your money, so mm -hmm. you know, if, if you can pretty find a way to make it, if you can find a way to do it, well, we got well, your back. I, I got to find out where the cheese cabal is. See who the biggest cheese czar is. Who's the big cheese? Greckles is just cheese? nervously we'll smiling. Out with... who the big cheese is around this box. Greckles is just nervously smiling and nodding. Because <laughs> it will be a brief meeting. Very good. Oh, all right. I, I suppose the cheese puns continue all the way to the freaking temple. You guys are heading to Chief Irons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you won't twist out on them, dude. As you as you get there, there is a armored individual standing in front of the door of the temple, just kind of watching. Uh, e excuse me, sir. Is everything okay? You watch. It is a silver dragonborn. They look to be like middle aged, mm -hmm. um, male. Um, generally regal looking face, um, calm demeanor. Uh, as you make your way forward, they just kind of make note of you and they just kind of nod and goes, no worries. Go about your business. Okay. Mm. Would that be worth inciting money or is he just being real? I want to insight so bad. Yeah, go ahead. If you guys want insight, go right ahead. <laughs> That's 11. a 15. Oh, eleven. Yeah. Um, you guys really know why this guy is here, but he seems to be just doing his job. You can't really okay. read him. He seems very stone faced. Um, not as much as Doros, but he seems very like you know. He's not thinking that much of you, and so there's not really much reason to think much of him. Ah. Uh. Uh, as you make your way inside the temple, uh, it is nice. It is fully lit. It is exactly as you remember it being. Yeah. Um. Which is surprising because when you left it, it was probably getting really thoroughly destroyed. Um, yeah. But it seems to be relatively good. The only thing that's out of place is one window is missing. Um, and it's boarded up, which is kind of disappointing, mm -hmm. but that's a minor thing. Uh, as you make your way in, Chief Iron says, Welcome to the Greckles! And he watches, he kind of gets off of his podium and walks over to you in his full orange robes. And he kind of walks over and goes, And a friend. Oh, Preacher uh, Irons. Uh, this this is my uh, friend and companion, uh, Borky the Orky. Hello. Oh, yes. This is the one you told me yells first thing in the morning. It's true. I do. Every morning, full lungs and let it out. It's time to be me. Uh, in ancient times, they were known as dawn callers. That is what I am now officially called. 
I actually like that. Yes, I am the Dawn Caller. I'm glad to see you are in good spirits. Um, uh, Sister Helena came and spoke to me on your behalf, mentioning that you were all doing well. For the most part. Um, Preacher Irons, do you have a moment? Certainly. He he just goes to... I, I guess the, one of the nearest things to sit down would be it would be like a pew or something. Okay, yeah, he's a down one of the pews, and he, 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 st he stays standing. That generally is what he is doing. Preacher Irons, I, I've been having visions. In the dawn? In fire. Hmm. He kind of places uh, fingers on his chin and kind of like strokes the, the bottom of his chin. It's... Oh boy, we, we, we were fighting dragons. You must have had so many. You say that, Borky, but it actually started long before the fight. Mm. Remember when we were all separated the first time, not the second time, when we were working with the Silver Cobalts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, I, when I was working, uh, one of the Cobalts had a, a, a fire spirit or, or something in a lantern on, the, on their head. Uh, you oh. know the cobalt, it's hard to... Huh? Yeah, 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 they're strange. Chief Irons is just listening, he just kind of goes, oh, okay. oh, kind of nodding, yeah. And when he got close, I, I saw it dancing, and he remarked that he was excited to, to see me. I, I was a, a friend of the Forge or something like that. Well, well you're... Well, well I, as someone who has lived with you, traveled with you, you were a positive delight. So, maybe you was about that. <laughs> Appreciate um, that. The nature of flame is one that is it's hard to describe. I am not a I am not well learned of such things, but um, the realm of fire and earth and water and wind are of domains that intertwine between the many various gods. Um, they are forces that make up the material plane. Um, if it is a forge that calls you, perhaps meeting with a worshiper of Gromoth would be wise. Well, that was just the first time. Mm. There was another. Uh, we were in the middle of combat, and one of our newer allies, um, they, <laughs> oh, were, 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 were they a, uh, a, a cleric of the forge? You, just, you, just, you literally, like, chop her out with, like, Obby, wee on the back of a red just, dragon. Just it's staring in the middle distance. This is unfortunate. It's mm. done place. <laughs> but uh, one of my friends was in trouble, and I, I ran through a great gout of flame, and as I did, it felt like time had stopped. And I, I saw a, a massive figure wreathed in flame. Well, maybe not massive, but at least as tall as Borky here. Mm. It's pretty big. I, I've seen that, and I've had multiple visions of this... Uh, this Phoenix Kenku telling me that they've been waiting for me, and I just don't know what to make of it. Is, is, he, is he clapping, or what's he doing? Is he just standing there? Is he floating, or what? Borky, he's holding my egg. What? So, so, the, so, the, so the chicken came before the egg? Priest Iron just kind of thinks really. He's, he's kind of ignoring Perky a little bit, but it's just kind of. Thinking. <laughs> you just, you just, you just, you just, it's like a wonderful, like, it's like the bass player in the band. Like, just, like, just it's there. <laughs> I am sorry, brother Greckles, that I am not knowledgeable of this. Orin's flame is. Well, we are associated much with fire and flame, but the truth of the matter is that Orin is about about light, the sun, about watching. Orn is a watcher, and one of Orn's symbols is torchlit fires on watchtowers, but that's about where it ends. The phoenix is a symbol that appears. Um, it is said that the phoenix was a friend of Orn's, but that legend is vague and more of a children's fairy tale more than anything, in truth. Well, at, at this point, I'm willing to believe almost anything. I would... I would perhaps seek out... I don't know, honestly. No. I, I would seek out Gromoth worshippers would be my first recommendation. They are also one whose god's powers overlap with that of the flame. Mm. Forest mm. fires for Yidia. It's one of those sorts of things. That makes sense. 
I just... So many strange things have been happening, and I can't find any answers. This is a strange place. You Appreciate think it could be like your magic is being, like, twisted up and it's making it in your head now? I don't know, Borky. I've actually tried to become closer attuned to what little I know of, of working with flame to see if I could try and figure more of this out, but it's all just a jumble of puzzles. Hmm. Well, I, I thank you for your time, Preacher Irons. Uh, but before I go, uh, I, I did want to leave a, a, a tithe, and perhaps if you had something I could take with me to protect me by chance. I have holy water, and that is it, Master Greckles. I apologize. That is more than enough. He grabs, He gives you a vial of orange holy water. Okay, let me put that in inventory, because that stuff's good. Uh, I leave him 100 gold. Very nice. He happily takes it for the coffers to use to replace the window. <laughs> uh, if you need anything, uh, errands run, anything like that, please let me know. Also, uh, your irons, do you know why there's a station guard outside the temple? There, mm, there have been approaches by the United Oran clergy. Wait, they, wait, hold on, in town? No, um, but I am of the understanding that they might end up in town. Do you, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do, do you know who? I am not aware of who, no. It is merely... I spoke with um, Bismati Primtash of the Alabas Inquisition, and she voiced some concern. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, those guys suck. They just suck. They, they're, they're the worst suckers that ever have been. They do die well, though. There have or been he's... noted hostile approaches. <laughs> um, noted. Noted. And beyond that, my understanding is light. But understandably, the city is concerned of us harboring any spies or those who are feeding information to Periton. Weirdly enough, to my knowledge, they do not utilize spies, but I would not be too, um, too surprised if perhaps they're... Well, Oren is a watcher. Everyone and... utilizes spies. Hmm. Be vigilant, Greckles, but do not have any fear. One last thing, Pastor Irons. Mm. If you hear word about a Viantius Astrophe or Ragus Cade, and you see him grit his teeth at that name. Borky's eye even twitches at that, like just... Please let us know. Certainly, if I am allowed to disclose much information, I'm at the mercy of the Alabas Inquisition. You must understand. Of course, I understand. And if anything, uh, if anything with them comes up that threatens this place, please let me know. We are allowed to worship. That is the will of Alabas and its people. Mm. So they cannot do anything like that. Right. But uh, he kind of nods towards the door. The gentleman outside <clears throat> is merely keeping note of who's coming and going. In case there are any correlations, they have their concerns. But he is a nice man, quiet, um, and he likes his drink. I will say that he is lovely. Uh, it's fair. Uh, who doesn't? All right. Well, thank you again, Preacher Irons. Of course. Nice and meeting you. You he'll, make he'll, your way out. Yeah, Greckles give hey, a bow and hey, head out. Hey, panic! Are you ready to ruin their day? <laughs> Uh, as you guys make your way out, we are going to take a break here. Oh, thank you. I gotta oh, use the bathroom. I gotta use the bathroom so badly, so. Oh, it's gotta be time. Back. Yeah, everybody was like, oh my god, the council's a fucking evil. And I'm like, they literally, like, work was sent by them to prevent you guys from it was a. It was a joke on my part. We know yeah. half the council. Chat, yeah. chat was like, chat was like, fuck the council. They're gonna fucking arrest them. I'm like, they, they're heroes. They consider them fucking heroes of the city. They trust them now. Like, not every single person trusts them, but a majority trusts them. Like, like... We've, who, who... Who on the council haven't we met? Just the wild magic lady? Uh, there's a few. Uh, I mean, like, the council is not just, like, there's main representatives who make up the council, but there are, like, sub, sub you know, subgroups and stuff like that, which you haven't met, because there's, like, thousands of them in the city that have a say. Um, but for the most part, you guys have met generally everybody, but even then, even though they're on terms, they still, you know, some people will be like, hey, like, you know, we have this option, we have this option, maybe it's not the best option, but it's an option we have. The, the hey, only Monty. reason... The, uh... Hi. Oh, no, go ahead, Task. 
I, I was about to say the the only reason Task was bitter about the council is just like I really don't want a bunch of dudes stopping me from killing Darkus. After that, I don't care. The real argument would have been like, do we hand over Task or do we put faith in these people? Um, right. But they but didn't Task have didn't they that. didn't have the time to decide that because people were like, oh, if we give this kobold, I get my wife back. All right, go get this kobold, and they were right, like, we just right. and, fuck this and, out of here. Yeah. In the in the grand scheme of things, Task would have fucking agreed and would have been like, no, this makes one hundred percent sense. But it's like, all right, listen, ten years, Darkus is here. He's baiting you. I need to finish this right the fuck now. Yeah, they Get were the deliberating. Fuck out of my way. That was. They were task. deliberating at that point. They're like, do we hand over Task or do we like do we let them do their own thing? And like it was like it's politics. It's never simple. Like they're always gonna argue it about isn't. shit. Hey, and, like work. Burke was of the mind that I'm just going to represent the, the group that's like, hey, we'll we'll let them do their own thing. And that ended up working out. They were just kind of like, let's just do that. And then like from there, like, oh, someone's quoting the time frame and stuff obnoxiously. But it's like, yeah, the council may disturb you up on a platter as an option. It wasn't like they were going to, but they they had that as a, as an I, ultimatum. I, so. I, have, I have a really neat idea. Let's like, not you guys, take it done. <laughs> You, like legitimately like you guys come back saving everyone's like they're gonna fucking arrest i'm like why they literally did one of the things that they wanted to happen why would they fucking arrest you they were just we considering all their options yeah because it was an unknown unknown yeah, yeah because but, politicians hey. will be politicians hey, oh boy hey, yeah uh remember that time you went to the bathroom yeah i should go do that yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> my bladder is so i should do that as well actually i'll be right back yeah go I'm, i just I'm i got i got this under control Kryvin with a thousand and one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Borky, you're up to no Gouda. Get out of here. Ugh. Fine. Hi, Chad. How's it going? How you doing, guys? I got freaking. Oh shit! I'm you're fine. staying with me. Yeah. Nice. I, it gets so lonely here when you guys leave, and I have. To I got. Out. Look, I went to the bathroom. I got my unpon. I'm. I'm good. Welcome, Bosco. Stave the chat, please. I think you mean save. Do you, Bosco? Do you? Citric, you're so mean. Hmm. Yay, we get Gim Gam. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Citric, you're really bad with caps lock. <laughs> like, I know. I figure somebody who draws for a living would be better with their hands. You should watch where your hmm. big ring finger pushes Mark, the caps lock button. Mark, uh, hang on. Oh, God, we got another freaking hype train. Hang we on. do. This, this, one, this one's on me. Uh, Marcus uh, Kusotera, uh, with the five. I like how you started there. to do like a Japanese accent. Marcus Rodera Karatera. Okay, now you're making a racist, Bosco. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm bilingual. I'm dumb in two languages, so they tend to run into each other. Guys, I'm sorry. sorry I sent you on a tra ninja transformer hunt. It's fine. I'm actually really curious. So, uh, season two, episode six is when they actually introduced the very first ninja transformer and I'm like okay I'm the what was it nightbird I think I'm really curious about it so yeah mm. Corporate. Little did you know the greatest ninja of all time is German Gundam Yeah it's true He's in the next Gundam versus Gundam He's the greatest it's ninja true. ever he was German oh, Gundam. but Gundam. Not he was a Schwartz Bruder Schwartz Bruder, a Japanese man pretending to be a German ninja. I mean, I'm fine with it. As far as I'm, well, no, nah, I better say that for the video so I don't spoil it all. Mm. No, it was a good it was time. The, it was the it clone good. of a Japanese man pretend, pretending to be a German man. He was a master of German ninjutsu. Quote, unquote. Grimolas Prime. Hey, Bosco. Been watching Transformers. Love your voice acting. 250 bits. Thank you. I appreciate that. Dread Hunter with 300 bits. The answer is in the flames, Greckles. This is weird having Greckles do backstory stuff, and I'm not with him. I mean, a little bit. Doing a little backstory, not that I'm, much. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, though. You're expanding out. Oh, my goodness. We got oh Subtle with five bits, and then we've got good old Gamalia with 5,000 bits saying chill sessions are nice to have after large arcs. I love roleplay sessions. Mm -hmm. I, you, I could fill an entire session just talking to the boys. It'd be great. Grand 2, Die Hard yeah. Dice for 100 bits. I don't know if we're going to have time to get to the backstory, though, guys. I know a lot of you have been asking about that, but uh, 
What more do they want to know happened. about you? They, there was a huge lore dump when we were on the Griffin. Oh, oh, Bosco, that was like 15%. I don't have to tell them about the other two pages, okay? <laughs> Fine, I'll be back at the Sweet Dragon soon, and then we can have our backstory talk, sweetie, I promise. Someone's going to have to initiate it because it's not like he's going to go blathering. I know, it. I can, look, I can only help so many people get dates and unlock their backstories, all right? I'm you trying. Should, Let me get back should. in rotation. Usually that's task job is to hook people up. Yeah, well, I'm hooking task up and I'm hooking panic up. It's just let me work. Have you been reading off these bits? I have, and I've also well, got Cyan Fox 10 with 500 bits. I'm sorry I couldn't take Taka's cheese puns. Don't worry, none of us could. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, that hurt. Uh, gotcha. Also, Bosco, you did a fantastic job on Ultra Magnus and a good job on Soundwave so far. <laughs> Oh, so Magnus was fantastic. Soundwave was good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, you guys keep going. I got to go back and get my Make sure really to think about that late at night while you're trying to sleep there, Bosco, on the wording on that, huh? Uh, Chub Toad, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Chump. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We've got uh, Sedonim92 with a thousand bits saying, how would you go about playing a blind bear bard? Ooh. Uh, I would probably what? name him Jay Cutler. Uh, Tater Slammer. It's a sports reference. Tater Slammer with the bits saying, hey, guys, don't have a lot of bits, but have these anyway. Well, thank you. We got Wolven the Sixth saying, speaking of ninjas as a GM, I keep finding ways to accidentally make ninjas or make things ninjas in the tabletop game. I run send help a thousand bits. You, you want to know why that is? Is because ninja weren't like some tight collective organization of people. Hmm. No, they're, they're, you're right. They were in hidden villages. There were are you one, saying that ninja clans were fake? No, no, no. I, it, it's a long story. What is the collective noun of ninja? Ninja. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> ninja. No. It's, it's, it's ninja says, okay? Fun guys, fact. Ninja fun, fact. fun fact. The word ninja didn't even appear until 1995. Nice. That's a lie. That is a lie. Is no a lie. Look at and maybe look it just, it just, it just, it just, just culture shock us on a Wednesday night. I, yeah, I, I heard. Yeah. Do you want to get food after the stream? <laughs> what? Actually, my, I, yeah, yeah. If you want to get some food, there's actually extra food up here. What do you guys have? It's fucking tortellini. Ooh. I don't really, I don't really want tortellini. Oh. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll go somewhere. Don't worry. We'll go get some. Food doesn't want any pasta, okay? No, what? No, tell you what, Nadine. Afterwards, we'll go get some food. All right, real quick here. Uh, I, can, can I take over? Yeah, yeah sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, Savander, thank you for the bitch. Probate with the five thousand. Whoa! Bits. You didn't tell me you were gonna call off probates. Now I want it back. You should. I feel like them. giving Iggy those robot bits is like giving an arsonist a full matchbook. Hmm. No, it's 20 matchbooks we've given him. So, Probate, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Evian fan. The bits, thank you. We're not with the 500 bits as well. Bosco just wants to be the dedicated, most loved NPC while also being the tank. Can someone just pat him on the back so he feels appreciated and stops working so hard? No, we don't. We, no, we can't give away the game. We have to have Here's a Here's a story sack. plot for you. No, Let no, me no. water need, this plot he, seed. Till he, till you he need came to along. go on date. Till he came along, I was the only one taking the dippers. But now that he's here chasing that carrot, he's taking the dip his Never time. forget who got you Greckles' real name. Nova <laughs> Blaze, 015. Thank you so much as well for the bits. Mono Kite with a 1,500 bits. Hey, Taka, since you voiced Conrad Kurz in 40k theories recently, does this mean you'll do the Primark and TTS upon their eventual return? Love you all. No, there's no plan for that, but it was very nice to be in Remley as is, of course, 40k theories. It was fun. Yeah, I played Conrad Kurz in his thing. It was fun. Also, yes, can, I I also... address the, can I address the chat real quick? No, Forever Judgment Master with a 1,500 bits. Hey, guys, <laughs> great session so far. I love the chill RP sessions. Yes, I would agree with that. Now I'd like to address the chat real quick. Mm -hmm. I Listen, if one of y'all motherfuckers types, what about the shield one more time? Don't worry about it. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Okay. so I got to thank one more person before we get going here in a, in a, in a hot second here. One second. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need such strong support. Yes, the hype train was great. Everyone get your everyone got their hype train stuff. But now I want to thank somebody who's on our list here. I want to make sure I'm getting their name correctly. And then needs to disappear. God damn it. Great work. These emotes are being shared. Son of a it's got this slow slow scrolling thing at the top. These uh, walkers about this shield. I swear to God. I, you y'all forget I'm a mod. I'll start coming at y'all until the break's over. No. I'll have a B. 
No, the thing is, the thing is, despite you, uh, probate will go. We'll just not unban them. Uh, TTA decoded dropping ten thousand bits while we were playing. I want to give a special thank you to TTA decoded. We lost your message because, as always, Streamlabs refreshed. But TTA decoded, thank you so much for gifting the ten thousand bits, and as well, Gammon Leo. Yeah. Thank you so much for the five thousand bits. It's very, very kind of you, uh, Ashandari. 010, thank you so much for the over 3,000 bits and the Forever Dungeon Master with an additional 3,600 bits. Thank you so much to Tail Lith as well, Ebon Sky, Skull J, and Blackwood Fairy. Thank you all so much for your bit drops that you dropped there, guys. But um, aside from that, okay, do we. Uh, uh, and the real the real Gloomy Bunny with 300 bits. Is Remy's real name Hodel? No. You sure? <laughs> yes. Hmm. That sounds like a that sounds like a tone of voice that would mean that it's kind of true. Hey, Chris Zito. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Nah, I, I can't be. Whoa. Told. Whoa, you can't. First I'm sorry, I can't. Zito, I can't. Zito, 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 can we? Christopher Gazul Zito. Shut the fuck up. Nice try, but I actually have four names, so fuck you. <laughs> Christopher uh, Joseph. John Xavier. John. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Star. I got. I, I'm sorry. I was just gonna start naming off the wait, 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 Tony. Wanna, Tony. I, I'm sorry, not to take away from what you're doing here, but I have to shut all this down because there's there's a point that happened earlier that I need to come back to. Oh, Zito, boy. are you fucking serious? Saying you think apple pie is good? Fuck sakes! What is that crap? About He's American. About? Yeah, oh. Canadian. Oh, I'm Why don't you go munch on some ketchup chips? I you love apple pie. Ass. Hell you. Hell you! Is Why would I get hell you? you? No, 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 hell no, no, you no. is great. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna say here, right here. You say ketchup chips, uh -uh. weak sauce. I'm talking about all dressed, all dressed chips. Now you Americans don't get to have that, but it's every flavor poured onto a chip. I mean, yeah, that sounds disgusting. As does forward. putting ketchup on your chips. As does putting your milk in a bag. Hell you, it's you it, 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 it is delicious depending on the That's angle the you eat the chips from. We don't talk about them. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, well, Taka. they don't talk about you either. Taka, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but New York has a place. Oh, they do? Yep, they do. What is it called? Uh, I don't remember because originally the first building blew uh -huh, up. Aha, that's explosion. what I thought. It's all a conspiracy. Nope, You're first, making uh, it up. Taka, Taka, the first building blew up in an explosion and they rebuilt it. You gotta be Ooh. very okay. You gotta be very careful because I can take this joke two different directions. <laughs> <laughs> and one like, of them is too far. <laughs> Is yeah. it? Uh, but no, apple pie is actually really good. But I just I love strawberry rhubarb. Like, it's my favorite kind of pie. Though I did have pie in L.A. We went back there a second time because I shit you not, they have Earl Grey tea pie. Don't fucking... I can't explain uh, how it was made, but it huh. tasted so goddamn good. I mean, I'll try anything like that for wait, once. Wait, 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 Zeta, were you with us when we went to Worcestershire that, that, that No, that, uh, I was not. I'm sorry, what, you just didn't, that's Hurst of, well, I, I took. We went to Hurston Flurgen Blagen. It's, uh, it is a, a German, it is a German bratwurst place that only makes German bratwursts. No, it's real. It's where, wait, it's real. where is it? What what part of America? It's uh, by, right by the edge of uh, the, I don't want to call it Little Japan, but Little Japan. You mean Little, little Tokyo? Tokyo? Little Tokyo. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> right, right on the edge of Little Tokyo. Uh, it, uh -huh. is a, it is a schnitzel place, essentially. They just make different kinds of hot dogs, like gourmet level hot dogs. Ooh. Mm. Yep, yep, and they also my... served, and back when I was drinking, they actually served my favorite beer I've had in a long time. And that was the old monk beer, the one from a thousand years ago. Wait a minute. I was there. Yes, you, I thought you were there. And across the street is that pie place, and I had black tea pie there. Mmm. Shit. Okay, there we go. That Sorry. sounds scrumptious. Mm-hmm. My favorite pies, I like apple pie. Mm -hmm. I also like uh, meringue, lemon meringue pie, because of our father. I like chocolate pie. Uh, I, I like pumpkin. I want to try chocolate pie. I can't find chocolate pie, but I want to try so chocolate good. pie. Oh, I, I got apple, so apple, pumpkin, and cherry. I'm a basic. Also, monster. guys, fuck pie. Fuck. Let's talk about cheesecake, guys. Let's talk about oh, cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. Oh, man. No, I've that's getting into a whole lot different argument. <laughs> Let's talk about some good-ass New York I've, cheesecake, I've, right, Zito? Bosco, Bosco, I have a better idea. Let's play D&D. &D. Oh. Does it have cheesecake, though? By the way, I'm, I'm slamming Maybe. this in the memes. Please. I actually got the name from somebody in the chat, so you can go there, Bosco, and catch. All right. All right, so, you'll have to. Yes, thank you. New York cheesecake is not real cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake! Thank you for the thousand bits. America's all dressed. To, thanks to uh, it's they are the great. They are great. 
All right. I like so we're having a talk after this. We're returning back to the game now. Get your time stamps if you're time stamping this moment. All right. So, uh, Greckles, is there anything else you want to do? Because you have three things listed. Uh, uh, I would like to jump to somebody else because they haven't really had a chance. No, so. do do the do do the jump, and I wanted to go talk to um Pilchard, but. <laughs> That was it. So go ahead and jump. You can put one. in a request because he is in the in the council district, so he is a little outside of reach. But you yeah. did put an inquiry in to, to talk to him, so he can uh, come by and visit. Yeah, between between uh, either him, Sully, or both. Uh, other than that, it was just shopping, which we can do whenever you're ready. Yeah. All right, uh, Borky, mm. you both head to the bank. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys walk into this really fancy bank um manned by a bunch of different uh different races uh you walk up to a portly halfling man with a full-on black curled mustache and the little kind of bowler hat and uh very nice clothes like a pocket watch in the front pocket no uh good good day good sir what is your name Good day, sir. Mm. My name is Mr. Biffles. Mr. Biffles. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Of course it would. My name is Porky Don Collar. I was curious. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm glad that's sticking. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I was curious if you could take a look into me account. Uh, maybe under Borky the Orky as well. <laughs> Certainly. Did you not use your legal name when you filed for your account? Uh, Azra Zahar actually co-signed for my account, so she's legally on the hook for that, I believe. I don't believe that. So what is your legal name so I can look up your account, sir? Borky B, which is like two O's on top of each other, but not an eight. <laughs> o, which is like half an eight. R, which is what pirates say. K, which is what I'm feeling, because I'm feeling okay. <laughs> and why, AZ, and why is this taking so long? Just kidding. I'm patient. Um, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do beg your pardon, Mr. Biffles. He's an eccentric fellow. Yeah, that's mm. fine. I just I need to make sure we go through the proper... Your last name? Borky is the first name. Your last name. Uh, I get it. Why's the Orky? We'll be playing today. Okay. I will look that up. I will be right back. And you watch as he disappears behind a little swinging door behind the front counter. And within like less than a minute, he returns back and goes, All right, Mr. Borky the Orky, uh, how may I help you? Ooh, well, I, I, how may I help I you? Would, I, as you know, I last came in here, I put all my money in, in a bank account. Okay. Now, I would like to go over how much money I have exactly. He will show you, and you should have that number because I was not told. I have 400 platinum, uh, 6,822 gold, and 148, I believe it was, uh, spooky Jesus. bucks. Jesus. Spooky, spooky, bu spooky bucks from the scary land with the vampires. Oh, Tricadian Galleon. Uh, Tricadian. Oh, uh, yeah, spooky bucks. Spooky bucks. Tricadian <laughs> <laughs> Gildan. Uh, Gildan, so, that was Gildan, yeah. Scary skeleton. So, uh, no, here's spooky the bucks. thing Borky has not spent money on, like, anything. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a fucking barbarian, so I don't really need to spend it. Now, I would like... Uh, how much is 400 platinum again? That Four just slap a zero at the 4, end. That's 5,000 gold. Five, 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 okay, and how much is 148 Tricadian tr fun bucks? Uh, 100 and... Sorry? 148. That's slap another zero at the end of that. That's... Okay. You're okay. kicking over 10 grand, so yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking around with about 12, uh, 12 to 11 grand, okay. Excellent, 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 excellent. Okay, so... Excellent, okay. So now, where if I were to to um, acquire a building of, uh, say, you're a bank, so, like, obviously people bring their money here, where would be the place where I could go buy a building? Uh, you would probably have to speak with the uh, Dwarven Excavators and Infrastructure Guild. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go there. Where is that? Uh, that's in the lower district in the blacksmith kind of area. Lower oh, district, blacksmith kind of area. We're probably not too far from that, Borky. We're probably not too far from that. Uh, you guys okay. are currently in like the middle arcana district right now. All right, well, this is good. Uh, I just wanted to know how much money I had. So that when I make a purchase, I'll come back and take it out. Is that how banking works? Yes. You can make a statement and we can remove that money and give it back to you. Yes. 
Got it. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Biffles. Uh, Certainly. Mr. Mr. Biffles, if I may, what, yes. what kind of interest rate does this bank currently run? Uh, as it seems right now, his account is simply for storage, so it is more of a security bank. Uh, investment mm. banks don't particularly exist in Alabas yet. Mm. Uh, most investments are made uh, off-continent at the moment. Okay. Mm. Can, like can you disclose? Can you disclose where off continent? Oh, Tricadia, Nomeria, the sorts of places. Mm. The banks mm. there. Tricadia is truly a, a godless land. <laughs> I hear it's, <laughs> I hear it's said... wonderful there. That's, uh. pro that's propaganda. <laughs> mm. God damn it! They may say they have nice dogs there. That's also propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Before we leave, Monty, I'm actually not for anything nefarious, but I am very curious about what kind of locking mechanisms and other other protection they have up when it comes to you this bank. You don't see anything. From where you're standing right now, you, ah. you can't tell. It's all hidden behind wherever they kind of, you know, squirrel away. Uh, gotcha. The front is definitely solid. Like, you could mm. not get through where they're currently doing business. There's like, like, there's like metal in front. Like, you couldn't do any damage unless you were like Tiengo or mm. like someone really strong. Okay. Well, Borke, I think your money's safe here. I do believe so. This is why I came to the bank because eventually I realized I had so much money that oh. I would probably die. Sir, I will warn you that if you were to uh, remove an amount over 5,000 gold pieces, you will require your co-signer to come in and approve of the the removal so oh uh, okay that's no problem no problem she's pretty easy going uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, realistic uh, bird face <laughs> greckle slowly turns to borky are you sure about that <laughs> to, the, to the place where dwarves and anvils are <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, Bor it's, it's borky it's borky smiling head and greckle's worried face behind no no it's it. not it, okay. it's like it's like off sync so in in my in my brainless brain rumblings, I forgot to grab the dungeon master's guide because that will actually detail running a business. No, no, so... no, no. We can. By the way, FYI, we can talk about the, the 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 intricacies of what I'm planning later. Don't worry. I have to find the actual guidelines and rules on how to do it. Because um, for the most part, Helga's been doing that for the Sweet Dragon. But if you want to run a business, I'm okay with that. But. It's no, I want you to know, it's not me. Borky's going to be running the I know, business. I know, I know. Uh, but there are actual, like, guidelines and details on how to do that between Waterdeep Heist and the, the Game Master's Guide. It, it does tell you how to do that. So oh I need to, well, I'll need to dig um, I might have out. to do some reading. I might have to do some reading. Well, I, I'll, I'll have to do the reading and make adjustments where I see fit because this is Bork. a different location. It's not Forgotten Realms, so... Borky needs tiny glasses to read, of course, these documents. Mm. You know, Borky, have you ever thought about investing outside of Alabast? I mean, that's apparently an option. Well, I mean, like, then my money wouldn't be here. Yeah, but the whole idea is that you invest in a project or something, and then when it sees returns, you know, you get more money back. It's kind of a percentile thing. So, Borky, let me put it this way. Let's say you give 10 gold to someone, and then they start a business and you own part of that business and they do really really good and then all of a sudden you're getting five gold then another five then another five then another ten then another fifteen so if you're you're saying if i if i send my money to tracadia i'll get 40 bucks back uh it's not quite that simple i mean you'd have to research who's in what business and oh, try to God. figure out which business oh, is good. oh greco greco's 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 I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Listen, Fantasy Bork investments! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> listen, Bork listen, listen, Borky, do you want to make money? Uh, I mean, like, I, I got this idea, you see. I'm going to grab my book. Fuck, I'm going to be right back. Uh, you see, I got this idea, you see. A uh, long time ago, I made a joke. I wanted to open up a cheesery, you see, Greckles. Wait, wait, Isn't that how this all works, though, Kurt? A long time ago, I made a joke. <laughs> a long time ago, it's Greckles, I invested in something called Bitcoin. Now, it seems to me, and I have buried all the hard drives in oh, undisclosed geez. areas. Now, I've intentionally hit my head. 
to forget where they are. And that's the investment. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Borky. I thought you were interested in making a macaroon shop. What's that? I thought that was your first no, goal. No, no, no. See, the thing with macaroons is that requires subtlety. To make cheese means you got to pour it in a bucket and leave it alone for a while. <laughs> uh, Bork, Borky, I think making cheese requires more than that. You have to pour I, I out third. You better thing. leave it to the cheese expert. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I would incite you, boy. Would I incite you? <laughs> and that's how Alavis, Alavas got its first cheesecake factory. Oh, <laughs> I want the stupid shit on the walls. Oh I want to. I want the menu beans. to be so thick they think it's cake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I want to make sure everyone's waiting at least an hour at a convention to get in. Oh, God. I want to sweat eating dessert. We're going to find out what all... Monty hates more, politics or stocks and bonds. I, I um, want all the regular folks to watch the one guy dressed like a kraken come in and question what the fuck is happening over the weekend. Okay. So, I'm just going to I'm gonna find <laughs> this right now. Okay. This was a fun... Sorry, this mean, I hope this is a fun session, guys. I'm having a good time. <laughs> this is great! What are you talking about? This is amazing. About? Are you kidding me? Uh, so, I'm just looking at business management and shit uh, oh, right no. now. You will have to. So uh, I will say this, just for the sake of brevity, so we get like, bogged down with this. Um, you meet with a dwarf uh, who mans the infrastructure guild. He essentially is a city planner, so he plans out where, like, things are built within the city. Now, the downside to this is the fact that any building you get will be brand new, so it will not be an old refurbished building that's going to be cheap. Everything's going to have to be made from scratch. Okay. Um, the only time you've ever dealt with a building that has been abandoned has been the Sweet Dragon, which was that you guys didn't even own. That was belonged to um, Abacus and was given to you, or was given to you from the uh, Peyton Black. He had that building, mm. the rest of that yes. building. Um, so at base, like crafting cost, um, at minimum you're looking at at least five thousand gold to start, just just okay. for the building. Okay. Um, for all of the actual guild approval, I will have to get back to you on that because no you need licenses. Mm -hmm. You also need guild seats as well mm -hmm. for making and producing uh, goods <laughs> because you can't just like have a building and make goods. You have to actually have the proper licensing and the this proper- This is so intriguing like, right now. Help, I want you to like, know I'm legitimately enthralled yeah. by this. Uh, and then on top of that, you're going to have to pay daily costs mm. for your employees per employee. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Borky, when did you stumble across Age of Empires? No, no, hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to hire a business manager. Mm. Oh, God. I just read. Yeah. A player's handbook explains the difference between a skilled hireling and an untrained one. Oh, no. Good. Great. I have a lot of reading to do, but this is fun, and this is what the is about. So when, wait, wait. When, when does the state of survival ad pop up for this fucking shit? Like, right. so I, do I, does Borky have to ask for a real estate agent to come swing and buy some? Yeah, pots? you you can hire a person to look at houses for you. In fact, you know someone who could do that for you. Adric can can literally show you buildings if you if you want him to. Adric, or least, okay, well, the, or at least Bork plots of land where you could set up your shop. This is excellent. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Uh, I will. We will. I will. Tr I will do that at some point. We. You can get to somebody else now. Yeah, if we you can. Want. We can figure that out. Task. Yeah. Uh, you make your way through town. I'm gonna uh, stop you right there, real quick. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping. I'm gonna stop you right there for real quick, and then I will let Hang you. Hang on. I promise. What? Bosco. Nothing, what? Go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> Okay, Task stops for a moment, remembers something for a quick brief moment. In the back of his head, he goes, oh, right. If I'm visiting someone, it might be wise and customary to get them something to raise their spirits. Yes, let's go, Task! <laughs> oh, I'm boy. looking for a florist shop. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, they grow up so fast. I love Whoa. you, Chris. I'm gonna say roll an investigation check. <laughs> All right. Nice. 18. Eighteen. You remember in the uh, the Druidic district, 
Um, there is that old lady who had the mushroom store. Mm -hmm. There were also other stores there for plants, like house plants and also flowers. You remember that as well. All right. Additionally, you also remember you have two locations because that role. So that's the first location you remember. The second location you remember is when you guys were working with, um, like Doros and the lads. Doros stopped by a florist shop. Uh, in the lower general district, but it was more of a stall. It was like a like a little stall where you could buy single flowers and make your own whatever. Uh, that's the other place you remember. Uh, but Doris would swing by there on his his routine stuff, and he would buy a flower for Willow there. Yeah, I I'm I'm looking more for like the cosmetic shit, so something that's just like, hey, I thought of you. Have okay. a bunch. Uh, that would probably be more of the druidic district with that role. All right, cool. Uh, let's head over there, and for the sake of brevity, just so we can continue to get there faster, uh, Task will get will ask for a bouquet of flowers that represents speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. All right. Uh, you make your way to the florist shop, um, and the inside is owned by a very pretty elf, like totally like elegant, and like you swear they're just floating because they just walk with such grace. Um, and they take down your request and they, they start to work on it. Um, and they say to basically to come back in like 10 minutes and they'll be done. Um, All right, well, and so just... you make your way outside, get something to eat, like some street food or something. You just kind of sit in the Druidic district and, um, you know, eat a, eat a, what would, what would task eat for like a quick, quick grab meal and sit down and eat. I would eat People. an egg sandwich, but that's me. Okay. You sit down with an egg sandwich. Marco. Whose turn is it? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god man, he's, this is, he's this feisty. Is what I'm gonna he's feisty. I'm gonna have to get the spray bottle. This, 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 <laughs> hey guys, this is this this is this is what happens when you're patient for too long, everybody. This is why I'm shutting the fuck up in my corner right now. Yeah. As you, uh, as you sit down, Tess, you watch as a pigeon uh lands in front of you. Its eyes are three times the size they should be. Um, oh, and it's like looking at you, kind of walking up towards you and sitting expectantly. Uh, then you watch as another pigeon lands, but it's like a pigeon centaur where it's like leg, like its body is elongated and has four sets what? of legs. No, no. Why am Why am I the only one who sees these things? Why? Yeah. This, this is yeah. not fair. Uh, you then watch as the muscular body pigeon, like just is like standing and hiding behind a bush with a pigeon head staring at you from afar. How much and money does he want? And does he have a knife? <laughs> no, he's just he's just in a bush. At this, at, at, as you eat your sandwich, you watch as about probably twenty different weird pigeons land in front of you. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I look around for Taylor. All right, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Oh. <laughs> what? what? Just like mutters to himself. You see, sitting in the perch of a tree, uh, Taylor looking down, waving with uh, with a with an idle hand, and they kind of climb down, and eventually kind of step up to you and kind of shoo away the pigeon and say like, "Go away, you're bothering them," and they all kind of fly away. Hey, greetings. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, they sit down on the bench next to you. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can't, is, they, you can't uh, stop them. They know this bench hey, better than you dude, do. Dude, dude, but here's the thing, though. Taylor's going to notice that Task is, like, uncharacteristically, like, calm and happy. Well, probably not, because Taylor doesn't know you that well. So oh, that's fair. Well, that's fair. Taylor's met you, like, like a handful of times, and their general <laughs> perception of you is very surface level, and even then, it's not that bad. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, they sit down, and they, they kind of, like, kick their feet up and go, so you guys made it back, huh? Yes, we saved as many survivors as we possibly could, and a burden I've had for ten years has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm jealous. How have you been? Studying. Learning. The information you gave me was really important, and I've made good use of my time. What is your next plan? For now, I can't really do much of anything. Bork Bronzefang is keeping an eye on me, and that other druid you know, Moidos, the weird triton woman. Excalibur faces. <laughs> yeah. She's been keeping a surveyed parameter around the forest you mentioned. Is, 
Is Florida Moore making a move? He's always moving. He's always growing. It's a forest. A not natural one, though, at that. More natural than some things. We might have a solution to that, actually. Oh? It was where we encountered Darkus and took him down. The Mountain of Repetition. There's a... I would say cabal, but more of a township of kobolds that are very well versed in tinkering. And due to the fact that Florida Mort is not too keen with constructs and can't sense them, we might have the upper hand. Nature can adapt, though. But it is an idea. <clears throat> Nature can adapt to a situation that comes at them 100 miles an hour. Longevity persists beyond force. We could tear down the forest, but it could always regrow. We have to find the root and pull it out then. I don't think I want to kill this thing, to be honest with you. Is it that important? I thought this thing is like... This thing sounds like it's nation, if not world devouring. And yet my brother is friends with it. You believe it can be reasoned? I think my brother reasoned with it, yeah. But it is oh. dangerous. The Fae are <clears throat> the personification of chaos and, well, strangeness. Well, I've been looking well, into that. I've been looking into the inner groves as well. More as a thank you for your efforts and the problems I caused. Though it seemed to have ended on good standing. Still, I was responsible. I feel no anger towards you. I'm... Though I may have seemed jaded in the past, and I don't blame past me for that, though, I like to believe I've moved on from that. I have a life ahead of me now. It's strange, and it's comforting and relaxing. They nod. I want if to I can try help, and... if, I could, if I could assist you in getting the, in doing the same, then by all means, ask of me. Certainly. If you find any ancient maps of Alavast before, well, we arrived, that would be the most important thing. The Cartographer's Guild would snatch them up in a heartbeat, but for me, if I'm able to see them, I might be able to plot out a way through the forest. We have pseudo-dragons. I'll... Look for, I look to the fucking beefy centaur fucking pigeon. Oh. I'll have one of the pseudo dragons find an odd bird <laughs> and come, um, come to the sweet dragon and I'm certain to give them to you first. Certainly. I have found one thing that is rather interesting though. It's vague and I don't have that many details of it, but there is mention of a door inside of the grove that leads to the Feywild, but it's locked. <clears throat> it's said to lead to a very sacred place, a kingdom of the Forest King. He watches uh, Taylor just kind of like, seems a bit perturbed by the words mm -hmm. and the language. It, it sounds very fairy tale-ish, but these are fairies and it, these would be their tales. So I'm looking into that. It sounds like it needs keys though, and I need to figure out what those keys would be. Do you have any clues? Not yet, but I'll keep looking. They stand up. I'll let you know what happens. But in return, if you go there, I want you to take me with you. I have no qualms with this, and I'm certain none of my companions would as well. You watch as they turn and turn into a pigeon and fly away. And your bouquet is finished. With a pep it's, in his step. Oh. It is made of white and yellow and like kind of soft orange flowers. It's very, very nice. It smells amazing. It smells so good. Um, and it is gift wrapped without you asking. So. Task is going to find a guard and ask where they uh, have placed any of the injured people brought into the city. Uh, the refugees have been taken to the middle district um, in the temple, like the 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 middle clerical district. Guess uh, who's got access? You sure do. Fuck um, yeah. You make your way there. It is 
not as busy as you expected. I mean, you guys brought about 200 people, but there is quite a few, um, like, tents outside of certain buildings, specifically uh, Ilone uh, and Gromoth, because a lot of the people you rescued were dwarves. Um, you make your way forward and uh, eventually find the temple where Winter is being kept. Um, as you walk inside, you see currently she is uh, sitting on a chair. Uh, her leg is, is like, they rebanished it, like, another time, but her leg is really messed up. She probably won't be able to walk for, like, a month at least. Oh, Venus. Oh, well. It got really messed up. Uh, her arm is less messed up, but uh, it's definitely still slung, and it's still going to need to, you know, heal for a while. But as you enter inside, uh, you're guided by this female dwarf in, like, you know, clerical attire. She's currently staying in, in the Gromoth Temple at the moment, um, which is just filled with dwarves. Um, and eventually you're brought over to her and she's kind of just like perks up in the chair. Her ears kind of turn up and, uh, she sees you and kind of gives you this sort of solemn nod. Um, not really like, like, oh, woe is me, but more like, oh, you're here. I'm glad you made it. Like acknowledgement. Yep. Uh, Task approaches her, uh, sees her leg and kind of winces. Well, I did buy these with the intent of hoping you would have a speedy recovery, but time is a fool of us all, but please accept these. Okay, you give her the you give her the flowers? Yep. Okay. She takes them in, in one hand, rests them on her lap, and then eats one of them. Just like um, <laughs> Cash, like holds his face and laughs. I mean, you asked for something that would help her heal quickly, and that's what that is. She kind of wow. sighs and sits back and looks outside towards the flying birds. I don't know how long this has been an ordeal for you, but ten years has finally lifted off my shoulders. How does it feel for you? You watch as she reaches over uh, and she holds up a piece of paper to you. Ah, cool. So we on have it, communication then. On it is a drawing. Oh. Of a winterscape with glacier mountain peaks and rivers of ice. And she's drawn on coal balls gliding over the ice with beasts dragging sleds and um, homes in the rock face of glacier paths. You have a home to return to. She flips the next page over. It's like a booklet. Uh, and you see an image of a, basically, a two-headed dragon attacking. Oh. And then you watch as she flips the page again, and it's a picture of her and two people in a chamber. <clears throat> And she flips it again, and you watch as they cast a spell. And the next picture is a picture of Winter falling. And then a picture of her in the middle of a wood. And then a picture of Remy, Audrey. Oh, that guy. Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Kind of helping her. And then the last page is her reaching kind of for her throat. Like something's missing. And she sets the papers down and looks at you. I look at that last page. I uh, One of the things I was going to ask the council was if we could find something that can assist you with that, at least temporarily. She picks up the one page of her with the two people in the magic circle and she points towards that and then points towards her throat. As if to say, this is probably what caused that. Do you think they're still out there? She shakes her head solemnly and looks down. Tash just like sits in a chair next to her and then looks outside. Would you like me to help you find these people? She looks as if she appreciates it, but she knows there's no one to find. Well, if you feel all is lost in that regard, you have a place here. I'd gladly open my doors for you at the Sweet Dragon. 
she grabs the last picture and you watch as she scribbles and she holds up the image of Remy, Audrey, oh, 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 and then there's you in the corner as well. And she smiles and nods. <laughs> Ash just like, you know, on the inside is like biting his knuckle like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Emotions. Emotions. I can feel these now. Ten years. I, I'm smiling. What the fuck is a smile? <laughs> Your face just snaps in half. <laughs> we can't travel too far considering that your leg is all banged up, but I did come here with the hopes that if you felt you were in spirit and in physical strength, to at least venture out into the city so I could at least let you see some of the sights. You've had all this time being stuck under the weight and burden of a dragon's cult. Some rest would be a some rest is not unjust for you. She nods and she points towards the bed and kind of does like the sleeping motion and then waves dismissively, like, don't worry about me. I just need to sleep. Hmm. But she does hand you something from her pocket. Oh, what do we it's have like, here? It's like chunks of uh, of meat that have been like split apart, probably from a meal that was intended for her. And she hands it to you and does like a like a wing motion, um, and points out towards a stable within view, and begs you to to feed something. <clears throat> Volo, yeah. yes. I mean, I'm, I'm not Volo. I'm sorry. Uh, your Griffin's out there, then. She nods. Consider it done. I'll see to it it's fed. She smiles at you. And she leans back in the chair and just, <sighs> like, out. Like, out like a light. She's exhausted. <laughs> is there a pen nearby? Uh, no, there is not in this space, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, beans. Oh, well, whatever. All right, well. Task you will could, just... You could get an address to send a letter here, though. That is easy enough to ask for. Yes, I would like that. Okay. Yeah, you get a seal from the 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 dwarf, uh, and she gives it to you. Uh, as you make your way out, uh, like five or six different dwarves walk up to you, like in a group of people, um, and like one who appears to be like some sort of businessman, kind of walks up to you and like kind of like takes your hand and shakes your hand really firmly and goes, "I I <clears throat> my name is Brigham uh, Brigham Bottlebeard. I I just want to give you my earnest thanks." Uh, you saved my my brother-in-law, and for that, you've you've earned my trust. If you ever need shoes tailored, you let me know. I and he watches another one, kind of shoves him out of the way. Goes like, "I'm a Greg. Uh, my name is Gregor," and I just kind of like, and each one kind of comes in and like are like shoving each each other one aside and are honorably like shaking your hand and thanking you. And and it's like really hard to actually make your way out. And eventually, Aww. one of the one of the cleric women is like, "Get out of here, you deaf yes!" And they all kind of like, "Ah, oh, scatter!" And they all kind of run off. <sighs> Goodness gracious, men in their shaking hands and all that. Keep a good head on yourself, lad. And she kind of gives you a pat on the back and make your way out. Task is taken aback by all that. Not not prone to getting as much attention like that. And he's just like, huh. Like, just absorbing it all. Not letting it go to his head, but just like, well, fuck. This is nice. I'm going to head out to the stables and give the griffin some food. Okay, yeah, you head out. Uh, you see uh, Winter's Griffin uh, currently, like, kind of lackadaisically, like, resting their head on, like, the side, like, kind of the side paneling of this of this enclosure. As you kind of make your way, it perks up a bit. Go ahead and roll a handle animal with, uh, with the food. Alrighty. Nice. That's funny. It knows you. It's like, the moment it sees you, it does, like, the little tippy-tappy dance that little dogs do when you feed them. Um, <laughs> and you open up your hand and you begin to feed the griffin. I kind of like, I know it doesn't fucking understand me, but I just like pat on the side, just like, you're going to be stuck here for a while. I'm sorry, but in time, she'll be out. The, the, this place is interesting. Ah, you're awake. I, 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 I am always awake. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Tasha says, like, like jokingly, "How do you feel about this?" This is strange. I, 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 I still don't understand why lies would hang around this place. 
But but yep. but I suppose the charm of it is interesting. You get used to it. This is a melting pot of people and culture. It's it's a lot to take in at first, but you get used to it after a while. Speaking You're of sorry. which, oh oh no, Go ahead. Go ahead. I, speaking of, like I, this is actually in character too. Speaking of which, Tass looks up to the attic. Crystals up there used to be one. Now there's two. Well, it's actually three. Oh, three. Sorry. There's two. There's two small ones, and then the big one in the middle. Right. Okay. So I, I meant the two, as in the two are active now. Yeah. That 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 is an anchor. It was all broken apart when still Havity was here, and then Lies saved us. Got any insight on that? I, 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 I have no memories of any of those events, as they are not mine. Well, strap in. You're in for the long run, for as long as I don't die. You'll have to make some new memories. There's a silence, but it's mired with confusion for the first time, a feeling that Aos is probably not too accustomed to. But there is nervous speculation in the back of your mind. Some penny for copper for your thoughts. The 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 material plane is the most dangerous place for something like us to be. That's why you need me as a tether, then. More 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 or less. Well. Like I said, strap in. I'll be your guide through this wacky hellscape oh, you call the material plane. Uh, 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 appreciate it. Now, oh, fuck, what am I gonna do? I don't have any hot... Tass like just looks down at himself. What the fuck do I do now? Is there something that you did to pass time while you were stuck in that other realm? I, 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 I managed the clocks and the endless fields. It took all of my time. Hmm. Sounds like we both need a hobby. I did want to take up glass blowing. I still have the kit. What, 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 what? You don't know what... Hmm. Well... Time for you to learn some arts and crafts. I'm heading back to the tavern. <laughs> There's this feeling of, wait, what? Like this, like, huh? Like confusion. <laughs> the concept of any of this stuff is just so foreign to Aos. Uh, but you drag them along. Uh, the rest of you guys make your way around the city and eventually make your way back to the sweet dragon. Oh, boy. Panic and Remy about to ruin your day. Oh, boy. You guys, I had a bad day. You guys sit down for a dinner meal. You guys sit down. The smell of smoke and herbs and spices and spilt beers and ales as you guys enter inside. No, no, Sporky, you, 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 you insert like 20 gold into this business in like Tracadia, right? Yeah. It's when it... After give it about six months, and okay. you're gonna see probably a thirty percent return. Interesting. So I will get three hundred and twenty gold. You know what? It could be that high, buddy. Who knows? Yeah, and that's, but like, really, this is like what, what I've been thinking about it. Like, I got all this money, right? And as I get old, I'm not gonna be able to keep making that money because eventually, something's gonna get me, right? So I got a plan for the future. Right so like now, for retirement. Well, no, just in case I get injured and I can't go adventuring anymore. Uh, that's that's fair. Uh, you guys have been served. I, you guys I, all make your way back together. I, uh, I, 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 let I, me I describe always... the food. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, one second, Kit, before you do that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, but here's oh, the thing. Jesus. I I, I, I <laughs> came a I, I I came up with a name and it won't leave my head. Oh, Would you like hear to hear the name of what I'd like my cheese already to be called? Yeah, let's hear it. <clears throat> Porky looks you dead ass in the eyes. Oh, boy. Set your mind at cheese. Uh, huh. Interesting. Uh, Has bust in through the fucking door. Uh, and just humming to you. himself. <laughs> Sits at the table. 
Freckles, what's wrong with you? You look like you're constipated. Uh, Borky, why don't you tell everyone about your business venture and the well, name of your shop? Let's just say I'm going to be setting up a meeting pretty soon with Adric because guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be looking for some property to buy as... That's right, guys. The Don Collar's going into business with himself. Is that what you're calling yourself? The Don Collar? Well, I pretty said so, so, I mean... So it's it a long sense. story. It's really short. Sure he called me the Don Collar, and I was like, all right. I guess that's what I am. That's that... a bit more... Well, I'm actually rather happy for you. I Thank you! At least you have uh, a little bit of a sight ahead of yourself. All I have right now is, I guess, hunting and crafts until I can think of a bigger picture scenario. Well, well, I'm... well here's the thing, though. Shoot, I got nothing for that, actually. I wanted to say something, like, you know, positive, but it sounds like it's negative. Don't Task you like hunting? Uh, Tesk, there's a lot of things on our plate, all things considered. Remy, as soon as Grekel says that, Remy's going to take a long sip of his drink. You guys have been <laughs> served a giant chicken. Uh, mm. It is a rosemary Ooh. butter rotisserie oh. chicken. Mm. Oh, Monty, why? With why? dice. Why? With dice. With diced potatoes that are have been uh, fried in oil and salt, with a homemade ketchup on the side. Get the fuck out of here! And <laughs> a bowl of leafy greens with a light vinegar uh, salad dressing, um, and each of you have been served a hearty serving of alcohol of your particular choices. Um, the meat is tender and soft. The potatoes are crispy on the outside, but soft and chewy on the inside without being undercooked or overcooked with a slight sear to give them the extra little bit of kick. Um, but yeah, you guys sit down around the table with your meals. Put them Feeding in my time. face. <laughs> Remy's going to look over at Panic. Uh, he's just going to get a, he has like a big goblet full of beer and he just... <sighs> Do you want to tell them before or after they're finished eating? If you have something um, bad to say, I could at least give some good news. Sure, why don't we start with that? Mm. Winter's making a recovery. It's going to be long and arduous, but... She's, uh, she's in higher spirits. At least I made... I hope I saw to that. Secondly... Well, good. Secondly... I met Taylor while I was off finding flowers for winter. The pigeon person? Indeed. Hmm. They, uh... They were checking up on a little bit more information about, uh... Florida Mort. There's apparently keys to a... They're, they're currently looking for keys to a door that leads into the Feywild, where some kind of forest king resides. We don't know what the what these kind of keys are and if they're material or just a metaphysical sort of thing. But if we happen to find maps that predate cartography or any sort of knowledge of this land of Alabast, I feel it's best we give them to Taylor first. Maps that predate cartography. You know what I mean. But is it, isn't mm. that the art of making a map? Listen, I understand I slipped that up. I have, I, I had, I'm on like my, I had a little too many vodka gimlets, so I may say some things. <laughs> <laughs> so what you mean the is maybe, Sean Connery. <laughs> maybe, so, so what you mean is like maybe hand-drawn maps or maybe something in writing as opposed to being an actual map. Something that predates there being Alavast as a city here. So before mm. the, the land was settled. Indeed. Where would they even find something like that? Well, if we do find something like that, I promised Taylor we would give them the maps first before we gave them to anyone else in this city. Are they sure those things even exist? No, I... but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in knowing that where it is and then unless we find it on our adventures? I hate to I mean, even... I don't... Sorry, I hate to even insinuate it, but do you remember the letter you got, Panic? Uh, oh, Whatever. right. If you're going right. to help them out, tick for tat. If anyone's going to know, it seems a person like that might be at least able to point you in a direction. 
Mm, every not man is not really. No. No. Every man every is man. Every man. just knows that it's a creepy lady who lives downstairs. Every, every man is more knowledgeable every, if you would like her to think. Sorry. Every man has city knowledge. Um, every, man, every man would not have knowledge outside of the city as much. So, yep. probably not. Every man yeah. isn't as all-knowing as they would like you to think. Oh, good. One of those. Diego pops in from one of the floorboards. <laughs> well, that's my I've good news. For the bird. Unless, <laughs> uh, well, that's my good news. Unless Borky like, wants to celebrate the fact that he's trying to create a business with cheese. We are going to see what happens because the way I think it, you know how milk comes out of cows, right? It does. Right. Yeah. Milk also comes out of goats. Out of ghosts? Uh, goats. Sorry. Ghost? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Oh, I think That's you spooky. had too many vodka gimlets, too, <laughs> huh, Remy? <laughs> Spook spooky I, ball. I, I, am, I am... How dare you insinuate how we drink such slosh? So here's the thing. Here's what wine. You'd be surprised here's what you can get milk out of. There's all kinds of exotic butters yeah, out that's, there. You, you see, here's Could... the thing. Panic knows exactly what it's going. If if mm -hmm. milk mm -hmm. comes from those animals, it's implied it's from other animals. We could maybe milk a bear. Bear cheese. Uh, let's maybe hold off on the milking the bears. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not just bears. We can get an animals that are much easier to catch. <laughs> Might be a little bit gamey for cheese, but you know, no, I, like see, your what I like your. I like your. there, just like we got, we got, we got cheeses from all over the spectrum of animals on the planet. It could be, it could be good. I like your forward thinking. And uh, next, you're going to tell me that lactose has healing properties. Uh, Borky, stop. Laughing, like genuine laughter. I mean, look, I'm just, I'm just happy that he has a. I, I'm just glad he has a productive goal in life. I, I yeah, can't touch any goal. of it, but dragon cheese. You know this, uh, I'll have you know that's not a thing, Borky. Dragon you're shooting higher than a lot of people, Borky, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much. You're so many different creatures in the world. <laughs> well, and I, but you saw them go. To find out which ones can be, and we're gonna make some goddamn fine ass cheese. I look over at I look over at Remy. And I look over at Panic. See, at least we got a good hearty chuckle out of some of the good I, news. And <laughs> yeah, and, and, it's and, oh, it's, and now it's and now it's time to cold? ruin your days. It's cold. Yes, it's oh, definitely time to ruin oh, your days. Oh, oh, why? I, why? What's wrong? I don't know how you could ruin it anymore. I discovered that there were actually armed guards outside the Orin Temple. Oh, just you wait. Uh, Greckles, <laughs> what does the name Ragnus K do to you? You see Greckle stop. Like a complete freeze. His eyes just kind of go into a middle distance, and all you hear is just a slight clinking of a fork that hits the ground. Oh, sorry, and, he dropped it. And just time stops for him. He's f flashing back. All he can remember is watching Ragus Cade shoving that poker brand into Sully. And there was nothing but blinding, murderous rage in his eyes as he attacked. You all remember that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you guys. We everyone get... but Remy saw that. He gets up. United. Good. The United Orange Clergy is on the move. Greckle slowly. Learned... Go ahead. Sorry. We've learned that the Alavastian Inquisition has been looking for spies with renewed vigor ever since the dragon attack. Hmm. They're coming. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back for her, aren't they? We don't know that. We don't know. We don't know what they're doing. Right, they just, they just they hate out of Ashton General. It's just that icy go to top. The Sully's here. Just still staring in the middle of this, he just gets up. He just oh. gets up and takes a couple steps away. Like, not angry, just... Just disbelief. They have a lot Greckles. of loose ends in here. Greckles, what's wrong? They're coming back for her. Ragus Cade.
I can't. Gre Greckles. We have held them off before, and we can do it again. Panic. They're going to bring an army. Viantis, we know. Viantis and Ragus Kate are not going to be alone. We know, Greckles. We've been preparing for this moment for months. We all knew this was coming. Greckles, Greckles Gre just kind of returns back down and just this bewildering but semi-determined look on his face looks over you. Borky, how fast do you think the orcs could mobilize? Well, they just went through a gauntlet. Uh, I also have to bring in the particular orcs who require a bunch of women. And I have to put up that ad pretty soon here. We can send a raven uh, to uh, a pigeon, whatever we send. Send it to uh, the boars and gruel. And we see when they can mobilize. But see I mean, oh, it's, I'll be honest with you. Uh, these tribes, a couple hundred orcs. You say thousands of orcs we're dealing with. It's just, you know, it's part of the fire, part of the puzzle, but it's only a couple pieces. You see they Greckles reach into his robe and pull out Sully's holy symbol, and he just clutches it hard. I won't let them take her. Damn right you won't, Greckles, but sit down with us. Talk it out. You got a whole city with you on this one. And mm -hmm. not for nothing, Greckles. Are we just going to be blind to the whole scenario we've just been through? Dragons. We all care for Sully. <laughs> it just makes me wonder then if the Silver Kobolds could whip up another dragon. Probably not within we... record time. <sighs> we have survived dragon attacks. We've literally been to hell and back. It's not going to be the same. They're wow. smart. They're smart. They're tactile. We're going to need plans, and we're going to need a hell of a lot of intel. Mm -hmm. We also might need allies. Tass takes a sip of his drink. On well, that, too. Don't we know countries? Don't we know locations? Mm -hmm. fresh. Mm. We know a few. <sighs> Panic, I hate to ask, but, well, I assume Helena would just be completely indisposed, wouldn't she? Helena has already been suspected as being one of the spies and has been relieved of her guard position as such. She is not a spy. But mm -hmm. the United Theron clergy don't want loose ends. Yeah, they're going to come after her too, aren't they? Probably. And then there's Pilchard. Of course, I don't even know if they even know anything about Pilchard. God, and Pilchard has been living in Tracadia for all of that time. You got to think about it too. Do not forget, Sully has her allies. As for Zaha, Pilchard, the sexy drow. We need to... We need to figure out how the talks went with the Underdark. That's true. Mm. We have no idea how many allies we could have from there. Well, 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 if you think about it, not that much, because remember how the king of that area told us to take care of that one thing, and then we didn't do it? Well, yeah. Me, me if, think she might remember that. I severely if, doubt if that he's still in, help. If he is still in power, anyway. That's true. The thing I, I gleaned the most from the Deep Gnomes is that they are not very... any points to his head. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love I'm, how you listed off of all of Sully's warriors and completely just, like, omitted Jerry. That nigga <laughs> no, so No, I was waiting for someone else. What about Jerry? And I was waiting for you to go in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was okay. working, I was fucking prepping for someone to say it, Monty. I had the voice ready to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as you guys are are sitting there, uh, you see there Helga. She's, she's listening in on the conversation, and, and Helga kind of turns over and goes, You are thinking too highly of yourselves. War is not just on the shoulders of many few individuals. 
It is a large affair, and no one leaps towards the first solution for problem. When she sets yes. down a clean glass and slides it over. That is true. Thing. The Alabaster will not be putting the burden of this entirely on us. Mm. We, There are armies at her disposal, but... We are but pieces in the puzzle of life. Borky nods in agreement with himself. That might if be they, the... That might be the problem, they, though. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> if they do want Sully, mm, I don't think Alavast is willing to give up their best hope. Well, I mate, mean, you gotta look at it this way. We have someone who came to Alavast and started a whole new life. Another group wants to come away and take that away. If that happens under Alavast's watch, completely removes what Alavast is. So, everyone here, everyone here is with you, man. You guys understand, though, that this is a continent-sized army, not a city, not a country. It's a lot, and well, the one thing that I am supremely worried about, I'm worried about spies actually being in the city. I don't care what anyone says about honor or, or trust or fighting fair. Everyone uses spies. I would know. And I'm only you watch have a here. Ki Kiwi slides over a fresh drink for you guys. Yeah, you guys kill a spy. We don't know who, where, or even if there is a spy in Elevast. We've heard the rumors a while back about there being a spy in Elevast, but Wait a minute. You don't know who it is. Above game, Monty, isn't that the Yugoloth plot that we killed? That's where we found out who was I, not the real person? You don't, you don't know for sure, but they could have definitely been feeding out information that'd be okay. to their benefit. What can... Don't forget the whole thing with the Yugoloth. We don't know that they're connected, but it's very easy. They could have been trading information for information. It was an Arcanoloth, by yeah, the way. Yeah, an Arcanoloth. That was an Arcanoloth. If... Arcanoloth if... <laughs> Whatever. Yugoloth. Well, yeah, there's, there's, yep. uh, Yagnoloth is what I'm getting confused with. We, but yeah, you guys fought, you guys fought Narconoloth. We know for yeah. a fact that they were willing to work with the dragon cult. They wouldn't be above working with anyone else. Mm. Well, that just makes them <laughs> hypocrites now, doesn't it? I, I feel. <laughs> I don't know. If, if the United Orn clergy is not really as tied to their convictions as they make themselves out to believe, then what? What do they even believe? If they're working with demons, that's pretty much the antithesis of all it, they believe. I mean, does, Helena... It, Panic, it doesn't it, have to be all of them. It could just be one. And that's the all other they thing, The other thing to remember is that spies work in network, not one-to-one. -one. Exactly. And they're likely to utilize everything they can before going to war, which means spies, which means intel, which means parlaying with the politicians before they send the army. Uh, there's just no telling. Well, there's no well, use in feeling sorry or angry for the situation given right now. We still have above game council. Above game, we've never asked every man if they knew anything about a spy in Alabas, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, Averyman works with spies, but generally speaking, everyone in the underbelly fucking hates the United Orange clergy because the majority mm -hmm. of the people there are, you know, underdark races for the most but part. But I did we ever ask Averyman if they knew of any United Orange clergy spies? Because I feel like we have, and I just forgot. I, you guys have, and I'm pretty sure the answer was no. They probably would have killed them if they did. Yeah, that that would have yeah. been like if they had known about someone. That person doesn't exist anymore. They they would have been. Tiango. They would have been Tiango. <laughs> Tiango. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Panic. It may not be a bad idea to run counterintelligence. If every man, if every man is willing to do it, because they have no love for the clergy, it could be one of our best bets. Gentlemen, I feel like this is fine. Awesome. I'll. I'll ask. Well, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. I feel like that's something you could ask after we do a task and therefore we have in favor. I know. It's just planning. 
He's, he's just, just looking down. He's just looking down at his food. Mm. Remy's gonna pat him on the back. He just slowly looks over. He's tired. He's tired uh, and scared. <laughs> the front door is open to the sweet dragon. The bells ring, and you watch as a very familiar face walks in as pilchard. Greckles just so kind of goes wide-eyed. <laughs> you did there call he for is. Him. You called for him, so. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. He oh. steps in and sees you and kind of gives like the 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 dad wave where it's like, oh my child, like just kind of like, oh. <laughs> oh my child. <laughs> uh, he walks over and kind of like you watch it. Kiwi is running and get out of the way, and he's like, oh geez, okay, yeah, just moves out of the way and walks over and he's like kind of walks up and goes, mind if I take a seat? This seems like a dopey, motley crowd. Absolutely, have a seat. He watches he kind of like like old man style sits down in a chair and leans toward and goes, do you mind? And he points towards the chicken. Uh, you know what? Go for it. I kind of lost my appetite. He grabs one of the legs and just it, like he doesn't even have to try pulling it. It just it just falls off the body. Oh, he just his jaw like a snake. Oh, and falls fucking over. Monty, why? <laughs> he just like <laughs> into it. He watches the juices kind of like leak out onto his beard and he takes like a, a napkin and wipes his face. <gasps> it's like the fucking king from Lord of the Rings. Where he fucking eats while Pippin's singing and it's gross as shit. It's not gross. He's cleanly about it, but it is a juicy <laughs> ass chicken. He kind of sets down and goes, "You guys are back. It's good to see." Yeah, it's good to see you too, actually. Yeah, I'm sure I'm a sight for sore eyes. Um, man, I've been trapped in meetings all day. I'm sorry, I'm so late. He kind of looks outside at the night air, but uh, I'm glad to see you back. I'm sure Sally will be relieved to hear about uh, you guys going missing. Yeah, there's a lot to catch up on. How has she been doing, by the way? Uh, he kind of like looks awkwardly. Uh, and then he kind of turns over to Helga and goes, Can I get a milk? And she just nods and goes over oh. and pours out a thing of milk. Mm. Say, there's businesses to be found. <sighs> Solly has been underground for quite a while. I'm sure you know. She's been She's been in the Underdark since before the time skip. Right. She's been, she's been gone for a long time. Uh, you watch as uh, Helga hands off and Kiwi runs the drink over to him and he just you know drinks a big frothy glass of milk and just <sighs> sets it down. Things were going well. Um, well, as well as they could be. Um, I don't know too many details since Solly is only communicating through her sending spell. So messages have been limited. Um, but overall, it sounds like, for the most part... Um, she's been learning a lot and training with Azra Sahar and Clarion and Jerry, and probably not Jerry with Jerry, but emotionally supported by Jerry. You watch has, take she, another drink. has she said anything about Bob? She's not of any details. That's um, curious. Yeah, she said the only time she said anything about Bob was that she liked him and that he was eccentric but a good teacher. Um, all I know is that about probably halfway through at this point, her venture, um, the town, I suppose that they're in was attacked by a drow army. Um, and they've been dealing with that. And Sally has been essentially using that for training to my knowledge. Good grief. But you still have been receiving messages though. Yes. Yes. Uh, she actually intends to return sometime this week. Oh, excellent. <sighs> really? Yes. Does she plan to bring any ambassadors from the Underdark with her? Uh, only the one she already has, Jerry. Uh, it'll I be can hear point. his voice right now. It's like it's in stereo or something. Uh, Piltred, if you had a moment, there was a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. Mm-hmm, yep. This is really, really good, by the way. This is so juicy. Mm, Piltred... Have you ever had visions? Uh, Before all that happened. Uh, I mean, what's a vision? What's a dream? It's kind of, he kind of does like an overlapping motion with his hands as he grabs another, like he grabs the wing off of the chicken and just starts sucking on the tip of the chicken wing. Pilchard, I've been seeing figures in fire. That's weird. You're weird. <laughs> well, wow. 
<laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, then. <laughs> I just sort he, just of, start, I, he just starts laughing at you and, like, bites off a piece of the chicken. Panic looks up to his head. Would that be one of the ways that one of you would communicate? Uh... I know you used to talk to me when I was on the brink of death or emotional turmoil. Dust drifting directionless divine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look at my arm and I just go, anything from you? I, 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 I'm afraid not. Hmm. It, 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 it sounds like I communicated you in a future far past this one. Well, just to kind of lay it on the table since we're all here, Remy, you remember in that last battle, that giant pillar of flame trying to get to you? Yes. When I leapt through that fire, time seemed to stand still for what seemed like a very long time. Oh. And, all, and all I could see was a six-foot figure wreathed in flame. And that wasn't the first time. When we were with the Silver Kobolds, the elements of fire uh, apparently were interested in air quotes to me with me excuse me and on more than one occasion i've had visions of a what looked like a, a phoenix kenku holding my egg welcoming me home he watches uh peltry kind of you know bites off a piece of the chicken and kind of chews and he goes you know some sects of Oren worship fire uh, some sects of Gromith worship fire as well. It's somewhat universal. Some specifically angle themselves towards specific parts of a god's lordship, I suppose. But there is a group of people I've heard of in the past. Oh? Can I have another milk? He kind of holds it up and keeps like, I'm on it! And runs off. They're called the uh, Acolytes of the Phoenix. Acolytes of the Phoenix. Their story. Of the Phoenix. Uh, they worship fire. Not like in mm -hmm. a, a pyromaniac sort of way, but for its destructive and, well, life giving properties. More like a united Oren clergy kind of way. No, 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 no. They, um, well, the main purveyors of the Acolytes of the Phoenix are fire Ganassi, actually. Huh. Do we know what Ganassi is? No, you guys don't have a fucking clue. What's a Ganassi? I'm sorry, a Ganassi? Ganassi, Ganassi. People say it in different ways depending on where you're from. I thought it was Ganassi. Either way, what is it? They're children of the primordial planes. Elem children of fire, then I assume. The so, primordial uh, planes. Fire, uh, primordial earth, elemental? fire, air. More or less, yes. Um, so they're elementals, but like... People? Like, Wait, are they like, are they like me, but for elementals? Yes, exactly. I was just about to say, they're like you, but for elementals. Oh, well, that's crazy. I, uh -huh. Wow. Huh. They're not common. The elemental planes tend to be smaller, but they have a heavy tie into the Eastern Isles, so I wonder if that's the correlation. Wait. Where can I find these people? <laughs> he just shrugs. That's fine, that's fine. You've given me more than enough information to work with. I'm sorry, what... What was the name of that group again? Acolytes, Acolytes of, of the Phoenix. Acolytes of the Phoenix. And what was their technical race? Um, they tend to be connected with with Fire Ganassi, specifically. But is that's there, definitely not the only ones. Is there any sort of history, uh, religion, arcana thing that I could do for this? Arcana check. That'd be an arcana check. Uh, okay. Wait, if, all, if all else fails, we have a librarian. You do. <laughs> do. I am an expert in this now. Here I go. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, Connor with the I I'm a genius. Oh, no, man. Uh, I shouldn't have said shit. I shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, you should have stopped it. talking shit, Connor. Fuck. I greckles it. <laughs> something seems familiar, but you don't remember. But yes, you do have a researcher, so this is something you could probably give uh, Enceladus to look at. Fuck. Uh, Enceladus might know. He would. Sorry, take it. Wait. Note. Okay. Uh, I'm going to burn my free roll. Are you on I this? Was, I was hoping. Yeah, for that. because okay. fuck it. It's like night at this point, right? Yeah, it's nighttime. 
Why not? What else am I going to use it on? Summoning a Discord devil? Oh, um. <laughs> All right, here I go. Arcana rolling again. Come on, you piece of... You've got to be kidding me. Nope. <sighs> look at that 29 on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's all I pretty and nice. I have in Arcana now. Why can't I get good rooms? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, you feel like... Something something kind of pokes the back of your mind, but you can't really remember what yeah. it is. Like something, I got nothing. Something about the primordial planes and something about your experiences, and you can't quite remember. Plus, you probably had a few few drinks so far, so yeah. Like, you know, that's fair enough. Good. He looks down at his mug. Um, well, it's still more than what we had before by quite a stretch. Yeah, I just hope I've sent you on the right path. Uh, that being said, um, I am also here on the council's behalf. Ooh, he kind of rolls his eyes. <laughs> Talk about exhausting. I would rather be wandering the woods, torn apart by werewolves, than sitting in another meeting as to where to put the funds for a new library. Ugh. Well, as as much as you have disdain for wanting to talk about that sort of work, was there any mention of us in this regard? Oh, absolutely. You've been dominating conversation. Um, yes! In good ways, um, in bad ways as well. Um, well, bad ways, more of just, there's a lot of talk about you getting a council seat and people who are indifferent about that. Ooh. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. What responsibilities would that come into play with? More or less deciding on things. It's a vote system, so you would have say in a vote of certain things. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You and would need so, someone. Hold on, wait! Don't put the cart before the horse here. They're talking about it. They haven't okay, so, decided yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. But so it would be just we would pick a representative, or it is all of us as a whole? You would pick someone to represent your group. Hmm. I see. Mm. Hank looks Five. to the others real quick. Slowly raises his hand. Mm. <laughs> Well, no. If you want to be a part of the council, you can't really do anything else. Case in point, I work for Sully on the council on her behalf, and my week is full. It must oh. be very exciting. Complimentary bagels, but it, it can be exciting at times. Especially Jenny raises when... his hand back up. <laughs> <laughs> you had him and at hand, And then his other hand loses down. <laughs> a lot of deliberation, a lot of questions it's a lot of planning and executing and deciding it's and not riveting <laughs> but it is important well, and unfortunately, he's gonna sit back in his chair and rub his head <laughs> we're far too i guess rambunctious for one of wanting to sit on the council and just put pen to paper rather than actually sword to flesh i take mean it from we could, someone who's but take it I from think someone far... who's seen those conversations you don't want any part of them i think we're far better in the field than we are behind the desk. Exactly. And the more button you are in the field, the more influence we would have behind the desk. As much as I would not like to risk my life anymore, I... Uh, I guess we do have a duty. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You've also uh, lived through worse, Panic, all things considered. And Doesn't you're mean young. I go and do it again. You're young. I will. Go live life. Go live life. I will, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk my life. Uh, Tea like... for 150 years. Uh, Pilchard, I, I hate to go back, but I'm really curious. When you say that the Alkalites of the Phoenix have a heavy connection with the Eastern Isles, what do you mean by that? Are they stationed there? Do they have connections there? Oh, gods, I don't know, honestly. I, I just know they're connected. All right. I, I, I don't know. He just, like, shrugs. It's all right, Ta it's all right. Ta Tass grins a little bit and, like, Snickers looking at his drink. You want to know what would be a sick, cruel joke on the part of the council? What if we made a certain serpent friend we know part of the council to represent us? You cannot <laughs> be serious, <laughs> Tass. I think Why he would you murder think you in your sleep. Why do you think I'm smiling? Oh. And just information <laughs> broker you know that... You know what sucks? He would probably be the best. <laughs> I know. He would, the reason the why problem, I wanted to have it now. But he would hate it. He would hate, hate it. it so let much. us not forget. Let us not forget. Hasrad is technically a criminal. 
Well, well, I mean, anyone who's a politician is really. It may have, the position may actually absolve him of his crimes, though. We don't know how this would work. Really? He would got that. Are you kidding me? He would flaunt the shit out of that. Oh, my God. Hey, and also. Hasrod might... with diplomatic immunity. How he's fucking amazing do you find that? I mean, technically he is, oh, but his family sounds like they suck. That is kind of a point. If he joins the council, it may have the entire title on the well, actually, It might after. actually help him out because, uh, you know, the heat on him. I feel like before you should think about who's going to represent you, you should let the council actually tell you that you're going to get a representative. But it's funny. Yeah, bro, yeah. I, think we're, I think we're jumping the gun here. Oh, anyway. listen, gentlemen, we're sitting here with a couple of drinks inside of us. I'm sure we can all laugh. I'm more curious. I'm more curious what the council is saying on the negative side of things in terms of the unexpectables. It's a very vocal minority, but um, there are some who think you're a bunch of rabble rousers, but that happens mm. with every affair. People from countries where mercenary work isn't as normal, but like I said, they're a vocal minority. There are some that say that you invite these disasters to the city, but let's be, let's be fair. Alavast is infested with disaster, and that's not your fault. Yes, like Gobble Gourmet. It's probably the same people that love their prophecies, and lo and behold, we happen to be a part of one or something. Hmm, me nods. This also sounds like a bunch of people who have never actually had a fight Friggin in their lives. Boomers. Exactly, and those people, some of those people are in charge, but a majority of the people who are in charge are people who are much like you, adventurers and the like, who understand where you're coming from and respect the effort you've put in to the problems the city has had. So, um, be you can thankful. Tell the, you, those you people tell, matter more. You can tell the council that we appreciate their trust. Of course. I do imagine they would want to speak with you, uh, but I would wait until Sully returns so you can speak right. with her first. We have um, had some developments, and well, we've also had some developments on a certain field as well that I think you might want to be privy to. Hmm. Does it involve the you know who in Periton? I, I cast message. Okay. And I say, we believe the United Orn clergy is on the move. The Alavast Inquisition. Uh, has been looking for a spy in Alabast. Uh, he can respond, right, to message? Yeah, he can. You can reply to this message. There you go. He, he, re <laughs> he replies and he says, I'm 100% certain that they're on the move. They're always moving. And I think the bee's nest has been shaken a little bit. And Bismati Primtash is correct in being hypervigilant. Cast it again. Do you have any idea who might be behind putting a spy in Alabast? Because of Sully's connection to the United Clergy of Orin, we're not allowed to be involved. Shit. <laughs> Just me and me and Peltridge staring at each other from <laughs> silence for a few seconds. Are you guys okay? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Just uh, <laughs> just uh, saying stuff and not saying stuff at the same time. Uh, <laughs> I know how that goes. I point a task. I could do this now. You can reply to this message. <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of my head! Yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> so that being said, keep your eyes peeled, and hopefully things will go back to normal. But in the meantime, enjoy your time away, and maybe take some time to yourselves and any other venture you're interested in. He stands up. We'll keep you in the know, but for now, things are in movement. Gotcha. Yeah, we appreciate it. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, Tell when Sully he leaves... say hello. <laughs> Tell who? Sully. I will, yeah, since so she messages me, but she might just come back. But I will let you know immediately when she returns. Thank you. Task. She stands up and leaves. He stands up and he leaves. And he turns over and goes, that chicken was delicious, by the way, and thank you for the milk. And Helga just nods to him and goes back to cleaning glasses. I point at Greckles and I say, I literally learned how to do this overnight. <laughs> you can he, respond he to this message. <laughs> <laughs> he says back, I gotta learn, I gotta learn how to do that for myself. It'd be a great information relay tool. Right? It's crazy. <laughs> and he's not, he's not moving his mouth at all. It's crazy. <laughs> Task hey, will look over while they're talking Orky. in their head. Task will look over. Er, 
Task, I'll look over at Remy. No, uh, Remy, I'll look over at Task. <laughs> Do you still have that porcelain mask? I right here. Why? That's the same mask that you used, didn't you, Panic? You started having your visions. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of foggy. I think. I ha I started having the visions before we set out. But when I put it on, it seemed like it was happening more frequently, or at Gre least more clearly. Greckles is you... completely ignoring the conversation and just staring at that mask. Do you think that mask could help him? And he'll nod towards Greckles. Aye, my issues are done. Aos is a part of me now, so I have no qualms with handing it over to you. It just it's seems that every time one of you touch it, it enlightens you in some way, and I thought maybe it could give him some insight. I still there have no is, idea what it is. There's a variety of things that can happen when he puts on this mask, though, and some of them are violent. And he looks over at Borky. <laughs> Borky's bone incident. Mm -hmm. Panic. Bones. Panic. Any sort of closure I can get on not just my own past, but the future of everything. I'd be willing to give up any amount of comfort. That's Tass fine. I have to ta task looks over to Greckles and just smiles and hands him the mask. That's fine. Trade me your comfort then, because I really fucking want a vacation. Well, you've earned it. And he'll take at it from you. <laughs> at least a week. <sighs> well, you should put it on when you're sleeping, but I can't guarantee it will be pleasant. I well, have nightmares sporky was broken uh all things considered nothing may happen we don't know i think i think task it happened with task as well mm -hmm. but it's still worth trying i agree it's good being home all it is good being home. yeah i message borky and i say Porky, it is me, Grapples. You can Porky's respond to this message. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, money, money, money. Yeah, deception <laughs> check from Panic. Oh yes, with Do disadvantage it. because you don't know what Gripples actually sounds like, and then oh, yeah? insight, insight from Borky. Check this shit yeah. out. Come on, please. Yes! 24. 24. <laughs> Roll an insight check, Borky, and, and to insight. Jesus. Oh my oh! god. That oh! <laughs> 20 on the other side. Oh, oh god. Just a regular, regular old Tuesday, Borky. Hmm. Yeah, we shop. <laughs> Go, roll with it. I think. The cheese whoa, business. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa, 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 what's with your voice? I, I'm kind of cold. No, you sound like a guy. Cold. You usually sound like you have no gender whatsoever. No, roll, it's... roll another deception check or another one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> for, the a I have a, for the I have a cold line, roll it first. Roll it first before you continue. <laughs> I have a cold. No, 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 no. no. Oh! It's a, four, it's a 14. Okay, Borky, roll Natch an insight check. That's a natural Wait, it's with one. Yeah, but he can't, you can't auto-fill skill. You still have to beat him. Well, mm. we'll see We'll see what happens. It depends. Oh, boy. 18. Oh, no! 18. Wait a second, Borky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We haven't talked for a while. It's just Who my are you? Is... You're not cripples. You're not cripples at all. Who are Get you, that. new voice in my head? You, yes. want, you guys are watching as Borky's <laughs> having this one-sided conversation, and like Kiwi's like, "The fuck is happening?" Okay, I'm gonna go back. One second. My name I gotta, is I gotta, Synap. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta take this call Bow outside. Before Synap Borky gets up and walks outside, puts his hand to his ear like he's got a Bluetooth. All right, continue. <laughs> can I still see him? Yeah, you can. It's panic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're really? First you message. said you're gripples. Now you say you're panic. Now listen, no, you son of a bitch. Don't you ever mm -hmm. come into my voice in my head again. <laughs> if I ever find you, I will beat your ass so hard that they won't be able to dig a hole to put your body in. Beep. It slaps his ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? 
Hey, Borky, who's that? <laughs> oh, just someone who will never make that mistake again. <laughs> this is too meta, I can't. Helga, another vodka gimlet. I need like seven. <laughs> so, you guys drink. Is there anything else you guys would like to discuss before we're in the bed? Uh, no, I'll, Borky's. Borky's. Borky's gonna. Now, if you excuse me, lads, I gotta go stay and watch. Someone's been pilfering the pantry. What? Oh, boy. Borky pulls a single chair, sits there at the pantry with his arms crossed. You go into the kitchen, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep. All right. As I'm you gonna... go into the kitchen, Ty Borpington is missing. <gasps> Mr. Borpington! The kitchen is running. There's stuff that's in, like, the, the, the pots and pans, but there is no Ty Borpington. Oh, no. Mr. Borpington. Borky looks in. Is there already doors in the room? Like, where? There's the pantry. Um, which Borky is, like, opens little... the pantry. Mr. Borpington? Note Noting, notably, it looks like a lid has been thrown off of a couple of storage things and things have been taken. But there's no Mr. Borkington. I swear to God, if it was those damn rats. Oh, no. Borky, <laughs> they're not gonna, you're not gonna find anything if you're just sitting in front of the pantry. Bork, Bork, Borky turns to him. Mr. Borkington's gone missing! Wait, 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 he was just here. I know! He's he was not here. He's not in the kitchen. kitchen. Are you sure he didn't go to the restroom, Borky? <laughs> um. Wait, let, 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 uh, Borky, let me help you out there. Uh, I'd love to investigate. Okay. See if see if there's a uh, potential struggle, footprints, uh, anything like that. All right, sure. Roll an investigation check for the kitchen. Come on, buddy. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nice. Very nice. I'm just gonna grab. Uh. <gasps> something oh, the new music i was gonna say music changes you found something mm. <laughs> oh boy uh as you look around the kitchen there are notable like you know when you put try to put a cat in like a like a carrier mm. and like they they grip the sides or they grip the ground like and you have to kind of like drag them yep um notably you watch as there are claw marks uh that drag across the floor and just like cut off guys over there Looks like someone was dragged. And just wait a minute. Are those Mr. Poppington's claws? <laughs> hard, hard look over uh, to Borky and just. They back. look like fingernails. They look like fingernail markings. As you Are... guys find the edge, you find like kind of hook your hands under some of the like the tile on the ground, and you lift up a giant stone piece, and you see a giant hole in oh, the ground. Scarbles. Scarbles. <laughs> and that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. No! What a cliffhanger. Oh, nice. That was awesome. The oh, rats. Was By the, the way. Rat. It was the rats. The rats. They're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, so. All right, bye, Austin. Good bye, job. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Love you. Oh my god! Okay, that last oh, bit was boy. fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was a that was a mood switch. Listen here, you son of a bitch! If I ever find you, like, oh shit! <laughs> no, no, I just went. I went to the I don't most. Know who you are. I, I don't know I what went, you want. <laughs> I went to the most is like place in my brain there for like Bart Simpson's prank calls. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> what episode is this? Uh, episode 34. 34. 134. 134. I was kind of hoping that Borky would like punch himself in the side of the head instead of just <laughs> for, the, for the Bluetooth bit. <laughs> oh my god! This 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 this, this. You punch me while I was talking to him just to see if it was really me. How <laughs> fucking dare! This is a fun oh, really? episode. This was okay. amazing. This was really nice. Next episode will be kind of fun because we now have a little mystery going on. Oh yeah. Oh, rats. Well, gang, it looks like we got a mystery on our hands. Yikes! Remember that time we almost went to bed? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What time of what time of night is it anyway? It's like it's like nine p.m. Oh, oh so we God. get a little bit of time before it gets crazy. In before I was gonna like <laughs> plant the seed of doubt into everyone in chat and go Ty Borpington. No, Scarbles was the spy. Yeah. Yeah. No one. No one picked up on the fact that Scarbles was not around. She I mean, appears. we just we just figured that the 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 dust thing was just one of her quirks. 
it is. All right, there's a lot of people to thank. We got we got a shout out here to everybody too. Monty, where can they find you though? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Actually, I don't even think I talked. Did I even? No, yeah, you talked earlier. What happened? Okay. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue uh, on Twitter, where I'm posting pictures of my fat frog that I love. Hell yeah. Um, and you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Streams will be reconvening uh, after the 13th because there's a lot of stuff happening from now until then, because people are getting married, people are having way too many being born days, and like a bunch of other shits happening, so, uh, but I'll be back to Strums uh, later on. I will say this, um, I know where we're gonna play Final Fantasy IX on Sundays, but that might change it up, because my friend Darcy wants to play Darkwood with me, and I am, I am, I am a bitch baby, and she loves horror games, so that'll be a really good combination. So you can watch me getting <laughs> bullied on live on stream by my 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 cool goth friend. You're hey, you're hey, a bitch Monty. baby who's into Resident Evil and Silent Hill. What are you doing, Monty? I Monty, I got a question for you. Since you mm -hmm. love Frog so much, when Frog fractions the stream, I don't know. Oh, oh god! Oh god. <laughs> oh god! No, I can't do, that. <laughs> do it. Do it. I, I thought you were gonna say when's the twenty four hour GURPS stream, and I'm like, if I'll find a way. That is frog fractions. What do you mean? <laughs> if I, if there's a way to set up a camera inside of GURPS's cage, so you guys can just stare at him. That I would set that up. But the problem For is twenty four hours. Yeah, twenty four hour GURPS streams. The problem is, is GURPS literally just like becomes like digs so far underground that I can't find him, and like it's hard to see him. So. Jeez. Connor, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, uh, where I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that. I heard that. Two days I'm streaming RIW Roll Initiative Wrestling. <laughs> yeah! Where I used to catch d, d characters as wrestlers in my own WWE 2K Tony stream. Yeah, I'll tell you, you what. You got wrestling? Oh, uh, nah, now. See, now I know you're we from Missouri. We got wrestling. We got kendo sticks. We got drop toe holds. We got wrestling. And German suplexes. Maybe if you're fortunate enough, you'll even see a Lariato. Oh, I like Lariatos. I hope you have a luchador. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse where we, t where we play a lot of fun games with my friends and I drink too much moonshine. Yeehaw! Saturdays, I'm playing Yakuza Zero. I don't uh -huh. know what is going on. And, is that uh, game in Japan? <laughs> yeah, that the the Nihon. Can, can you tell me? Can you tell Mario Sama that I said hello? I would, but I I, I don't speak Italian. Oh, Fucking damn it! Oh. <laughs> and Sundays I'm playing games with the Harbingers, the people behind Dead House Sonata. And if you haven't heard of Dead House Sonata, it's a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series, where you can play as the dead and fight the living. And it'll be coming out later later next year, and I'll be voice acting in it. If you follow that link, you can purchase yourself a Yeehaw <laughs> Founders pack to get early access. Oh Christ. <laughs> Like yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeehaw Founders. Founders pack is amazing. <laughs> all right, I'm 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 all about it. <laughs> you can find you. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, hand it on over there to Edward Bosco. Edward Bosco, we're gonna find you. Well, this right here, I tell you what, you can find me over at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Just loud, and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then right here on twitchtv slash Edward Bosco, where you can watch me every Friday do. Friday night flashbang, where we take all the wrestling juju and we puts it together and we make a big ass show. So thank you so much to everybody who tuned into the Transformers. The <laughs> it is just a good pain. Oh God, they're coming! This way, I want to thank everybody that went out there and watched the Transformers. <laughs> my my name was Edward Bosco. I played the Ultra Magnus and the Soundwave, and uh, yeah, we just really appreciate that. So that's everything I got to say. I'm gonna toss it on back to Kurt. Edward Bosco has alerted the horde. That is true. I have alerted the horde. Hi, <laughs> hi. Right, right. That's true. How did you know? An ally has been slain. All right, it's great, but we can talk to Zeno. What's going on over there? You oh, my God, that's so loud. Oh, my God, man. Bang, old dang, dang, spell down. Go find me old rat. Twitch.tv slash Zeno. You can uh, find do all, all the things over there while I play. Oh, the yeah, it's a bit loud in here. Don't just break this bar. Do it. Get your bar. Drop it right down the ground. You can find me over there. 
I'm playing all the I'm, I'm getting me in a kart race. I'm going to roll down the hill. Sometimes guys in Goomba plays. We play with our OCs. It's fucking. Yeah. It's a bit it's a fucking. It's, dang old man. I know. I'm telling you what. Now, then you can find me over at the Twitch, uh, the, the Twitter. And I'm, I'm, I'm drawing Sankeys. I'm drawing all kinds of Sankeys. I'm, I'm drawing them out, and I'm, I'm going to I love the cartoons, man. And, you know, after that, you can go on over to the uh, Ever Ring of Patreon. And you, you can go ahead and give me your money, and fuck you. That's it. Just give me your money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give me your money. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good there, there, Zito. No, yeah, boy, let's hand it over there to uh, with... It's headed over there. However, over there, uh, uh, you know, we got to hand it re- 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 over there, uh, yeah, you know, the guys in Goomba. What? Well, y'all can find me over at twitch.tv slash Godzilla Goomba. <laughs> we have Taco Tuesday every Tuesday. Y'all like a good old hoedown, but done in that there Eastern style? Wait, we got wait, that wait. every Ta- Hold on. I have, I literally have a fucking uh, like folder called Greckles. Let me see what's in here. Oh, I'm going to oh cry. My God. I, oh, I have a song so called Blackbird. What is this? What? What? Ooh. Every like every every Tuesday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Feel the rhythm of Japan coursing through your veins as I play <laughs> Taiko no Tatsujin. Come and join. Tsunami are there for a high Come second. and join the dumb and fun drum to anime, memes, and even classical music. And then join me every sa- every Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. We have Shinobi Saturday coming at you quiet and stealthily with one of <laughs> with a plethora Get through it, man. Get through it. I can't, it's so hard. <laughs> with a with a plethora of the greatest of Shinobi games to ever grace Japan. Dang old man, ever. I want some shiitake mushroom now. I'm just going, I'll tell you what. Hey, I'll be really good, man. Do you got any of that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash take ahead of 101, where we have lots of piracy games where you're a pirate on the high seas. It's called Sea of Thieves. We have a good time on that Sea of Thieves, I'll tell you right now. We also got ASMR, low five, I'm playing City Skylines. I'll tell you right now, it's a great goddamn game, game. You have a good time, chill out there. Let the dopamine fill your brain up there. And as well, this Thursday, turning tomorrow around 3 o'clock, we got ourselves a hell of a wrestling show. We got a tournament matches. We got title matches. You know what else we got? We got so many matches, we about to catch on fire because there's so much goddamn heat in this company. I'm burning up here. And that's what I like. I have to say about that at twitch.tv slash tackle how to 101. You know sometimes go fast and make a turn and go to the left sometimes. I have by the way, do you guess I found one more thing. It was was, was, was Gaijin done? No, oh Gaijin I was you not done, done, you dishonorable <laughs> bastards. I will see oh, all of you on the field of valor. And for his bonus action <laughs> <laughs> Every Sat every Sunday, join us for Rising Sunday. Whether it be ninja, samurai, maybe even Ashigaru, the greatest of Far Eastern fantasy games, straight from Japan, right to your computer or mobile device. Don't forget, every Tuesday, Saturday, <laughs> Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Don't miss it, or you'll be culture shocked. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> That's, re- oh, that's, that's, re- that's really yeah. strong. There's so many people we have to thank, by Let's the way. Let's read bits out now. Fuck. Okay, I want to thank uh, Backcard20. <laughs> by the way, I, it looks like my fucking thing did something again, so we're down. Uh, some things are missing <clears> here, but... It's okay. It's okay. It's just how it is. It's how it be. Kane time with the 500 bits. Idea for the cheese to rename Chonky Cheese. This has been a fun session. You guys thank and stay beautiful. Thank you so much, Kane time with the 500 oh, bits. Bill and Zach. We need a title name. Oh, God. So much happened. Get the your perc- picks in oh, and, and give us ideas for title names. The Percocizer. The, perc- so the Percocizer with a thousand bits. Episode title, Let Them Eat Cheese. Lol. One thousand bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> Episode title, Stocks and Bonds. One thousand bits. Mm, not bad. Bon- I, I don't think this is the only time we'll ever get to use that title. That's yeah. fair. Let's do that. Argent Lyle 13, bomb the cup, 800 bits. Thank you so much as well. Viridian winner with a 1500 bits. Dinosaur cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> Rippington with a 1400 bit. Do you know what you milk a ghost? You make ban cheese? Okay. Oh, oh my yeah. God. This is, uh, Rippington, thank you very much uh, for that one. Uh, just so you know, you're now on a list uh, for that. Pretty <laughs> with a 1500 bits. Thank you oh so my God. Much somebody said Borky cheese. Oh, oh no. What? Someone Borky needs- cheese. 
Oh, they see that's oh, too many. Oh my god! It's, don't don't worry, Porky's gonna have. Oh, that's name. Gouda. Bella, Bella, Bella Zach with a thousand bits birthday bits today. Can't really watch as I'm working right now, but I will watch after. Glad to see the team is finally back in their home <laughs> base. Well, B Bella Zach, these sorts of a thousand bits. Appreciate this. Bosco, that bit made me squint. Oh. The game time with a uh, 500 mm. bits. Oh, the unexpectables are getting a council seat. Is someone going to get that phone? Because I fucking called it. Well, thank you so much. Game time for calling it. Wolven the six with a 500 bits. Title a suggestion of heroes, hopes of heroes, hopes, homes, and holes. Well, thank you so much, Wolven the six for the 500 bits. But not Vaughn with a 500 bits. Bondi, you can't just drop lore like that. I just finished starting a fire Genesi Phoenix soul sorcerer. I have a problem and you're ennobling it. Uh -huh. Hell bent fry. Thank you for the sub. Kig oh my god. <sighs> Kigogi 11 with a thousand minutes. Just finished catching up with the last episode. Can't wait to watch the VOD in a bit. The other half of the shift. Well, thank you so much. Night King Night Owl. Thank you so much. Op Tetris. Thank you for the thank you for the sub. Uh, thank you for the subs, guys. Black with the 420 bits. Blaze it. Praise it. Thank you for the 420 bits. The Luna 13 with a 500 bits is the best closing part of the stream ever. <laughs> I it's, it's on there. I had a lot of gut laughs today. I got to agree. Don't go Thank you for the bits. Uh, thank you again, guys. And we're gonna be rounding out here with Robunaga, aka Probate, with a five thousand bits. I can't Whoa. believe my fish-faced tribute character got chef napped. <laughs> it's true. It happened. Yeah, it's more it. likely than you think. Mm, it is more likely than you think. Uh, I can't bits. believe so he much. sleeps with the fishes now. Oh. I can't believe we're gonna have to kill Scarbles. Oh my god. Oh no. This is this is getting really dark. Dark all right, all righty, guys. You can't uh, flounder just yet. I heard Goblin is in this time of year. Mm. But guys, all right, <coughs> that's all of us here. Anyone else with anything else they'd like to say? I'm good. Yeah, we should raid we, somebody. We we yeah. love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming. We mean oh, that every single yeah. time. There is one little thing. Um, uh -oh. Joe Cat just released a really big uh, video. If you guys haven't seen Joe Cat's guide to D and D, uh, oh Joe yeah, it was good. It's really, really, really good. It was a really long one. It was like almost 10 minutes long, I mm -hmm. think. It was really It's about long. the character it, sheet. It's mm -hmm. about the character sheet. It's really funny. Um, and this is completely self-indulgent, but he put my character in the fucking video. I, I mean, don't, don't worry, Monty. Yeah. He also put in a kobold. Did he? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there's a bunch of little uh, Easter eggs in there. Um, if you guys have actually seen Joe Cat stuff, there is like I think Panic is in one of the videos too as well. Yeah. He's in a couple, um, actually. He's in a couple uh, yeah. of the videos, yeah. Uh, but the way, I think we all all of our people have been in it once at least. In the background um, at least sometimes. Oh. I think, yeah. But I don't know if I don't know. I think it's just been panic. Um, yeah, I've not to my knowledge. I've yeah. not seen any of my characters. But, there, so. but um definitely check that out if you guys haven't checked out his videos. It was a big undertaking and he's gonna be doing more, so definitely keep your eyes peeled. But the question is now who are we rating? What about uh, Alpha so, he's live. So, Theropod. Who? Well ther Theropod's we, we, on. We, we oh, Vlad, Vlad is on paper box house is yeah, on. I was about to say Alfred's Vlad's live. on. He just got his so husband he, back. He doesn't know that his he, husband is back. He but should we tell him, Monty? Um, mm. let's have the raid message be they saved your husband. There, yeah. there yes, we go. Yes. That's our raid message. Chat, the raid yeah. message. you guys, we got your husband. Not... Get the give us the money in 11 hours. No, yeah. <laughs> give us the money. we're gonna raid. Is there, there's spaces, there's space, right? Paper, uh, no, there's no space. It's paper box house, paper box no house, all one word. All right, so the raid message will be. They saved your husband, all right? They saved yes, your just, husband. There it is. Just like Miss Tweedums. Right. Go. Go, everyone. Go. Can't wait oh, to hear I this. this. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in his thing right now. Bye-bye. <laughs> I am, too. Bye-bye.